What's up, you know? So uh, good to see you guys again. How is everybody this evening? Are you feeling good, bad? What's the what's the vibe? What's everybody feeling like? Jennifer, FJB already. Very angry, angry person right there. Jennifer's a very angry person. Sorry, I'm, I'm recording data right now. Uh, 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 sorry, one sec. I just posted a YouTube video. That's what I'm doing. Link in bio, by the way, if you want to go watch the YouTube video, I just posted it. If you're curious, you want to go watch it. I appreciate it. <laughs> anyway. All right. Uh, Harry, I miss you. It's, uh, I miss you guys too. It's good to be back, man. Last night was wild. Just insane who we were talking to. So anyway, listen, uh, if you are MAGA, if you are MAGA, if you are a Republican, if you are a conservative, if you're uh, disagree with Joe Biden, if you disagree with me, if you think I'm paid, if you think this, that, whatever it might be, come on up. Come on up and tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. How is that possible? We're going to bring up Nick. He says he's MAGA, or at least inviting him. Tara is conserv. Tara, sorry. Tara, is we don't do the other one. We don't do that. Uh, Mr. Manjo says he's voting for Trump. All right. Well, I invited him. Uh... Costanzo says he's MAGA. All right. Hello? Hello? Let's go MAGA, baby. Trump 24. Yes, sir. We're connected to a speaker? What are we doing? Are we connected to a microwave or something? What's going on here? Hello? Yeah, what's up, bro? How old are you, bro? 14. Bro, you got... <laughs> bro you can't be you can't be in the tiktok live big dog you got to be above the age of 18 he comes in here he doesn't he doesn't know the rules he doesn't he doesn't know what's going on i just invited a guy who's whose bio is i'm him that's his pronouns apparently so uh that that should be a good one if he decides to join uh jules i just invited you jules 23 i invited you up oh, we have somebody we have somebody what's up hello hi harry Hi. You, I mean, you're you're sitting there looking at me like, what are your questions? Because it's the obvious. Well, your your microphone's covered. I didn't I didn't know we entered the Mariana Trench. I wasn't aware we were underwater. Um, but I, why are you MAGA? I'm about to get hit by a, a tropical storm, so uh, my phone's plugged in. Okay. So why are you MAGA? Why wouldn't I be? Like what? Like, tell me from the last four years when Trump was president versus when Biden's president. Please tell me what's better. Why? Why? There's so much sound. Uh, can you? Uh, yeah, I'll t I'm happy to talk about that. But I want to know why you support Trump first. Like, do you can you name me some Trump policy that he got passed through Congress that you like? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, his his policies on the border. One hundred. Uh, he didn't. What border policy did he get passed through Congress? Are you guys? me for the exact policy harry because i i got no, I'm, I'm asking you what policy he got passed through congress i'm not asking you to know the exact name just like what policy what the policy where he was going to build the wall <laughs> yeah that, that wasn't like a that wasn't like a congressional thing but he only built like 50 miles of new wall so yeah, he, didn't, he didn't really you build understand the wall, what that happened you understand what that happened though right because nobody people, supported it no because everyone supported it but the people like oh. aoc did not yeah aoc herself can't stop the wall from being built she's not that powerful um no, but, but like she, did, she, he had to you know what trump did he took money away from the pentagon he declared a national emergency because he couldn't get it to pass through congress and then took money away from our men and women i understand that the serving. pentagon has so much money that they don't need oh wait it. so now we're okay with taking like billions of dollars away from the pentagon to fund Absolutely. donald trump really really the Absolutely. pentagon really yeah, you guys don't care about our troops or our national but, security. But you're okay care. with sending two hundred billion dollars to Ukraine when we can? Well, we use haven't that? sent two hundred billion dollars to Ukraine. But if you're asking me if I'm in favor of supporting Ukraine, I absolutely am. We've yeah, we've absolutely promised over two hundred billion dollars to Ukraine. Why? Are I don't you know if okay we promised over two hundred billion dollars, but what I know is that we've sent under two hundred billion, well under two hundred billion dollars. No, no, but yeah, no, I'm absolutely in favor of supporting Ukraine. But you're the you're the Harry. individual advocating for taking money away from the Pentagon. I mean, what? Harry, okay, come it's on. It's insane. One, the Pentagon has more than enough money. The Pentagon lost a trillion dollars. They didn't lose so, a trillion dollars. They lost a trillion dollars, Harry. No, it doesn't mean they. No, no, no. When they, no, no, no. They when someone says it. that they, they lost, they have nowhere on the books 
to yeah, find exactly, exactly. over a trillion dollars. They lost exactly. So what it means is that they didn't lose, quote unquote, a trillion dollars. What that means is that they can't account for that money. It's still okay, somewhere. So we still invested somewhere, but that, they can't account for it. It didn't just like disappear or was funneled that anywhere. The Pentagon yeah. that should be able to account. Well, the government fails our audits all the time. I agree that the government should be able to fund or be, be able to pass okay, audits. But you're I totally telling me agree. Now that I'm but wrong. Yeah, you are saying, wrong. Yes, you are wrong. Okay. Taking billions of dollars away from the Pentagon, which hinders yeah, their ability 100%. to do their jobs. Like, but yeah, you're I, I'm, also, I'm, in favor, I'm not in favor of that. But you're also okay with, and you say we haven't sent it yet, but we've pledged <laughs> over $200 billion to Ukraine. Where we Where have we pledged over $200 billion? Dude. Biden has sent over 160 million dollars already, and he's 160 pledged. million. You're yes. messing up your million with billion. an M. Billion, sorry. With an M or a B? With a B. Yeah, we've sent Don't under 160 dick, billion as well. Yeah, but he's pledged. What what source do you that. have on this? What how, what right. source do, what what source do you have on like we've pledged this amount? Because that's not how Biden. any of this works. Biden just did that at the G7 when, where? summit. Where's his quote that at we pledged G- over 200 billion dollars? No, at the we've already spent it. No, we have Biden not. Biden just pledged oh God, at the G7 summit that we would spend over fifty billion more on top of what we always sent him. Uh, what was fifty billion more? On top of what we've already sent him. And what? How much do you think we've already sent? One hundred and sixty. One hundred and sixty. And what's your source on that? Um, every source that's ever there. Ever, every source I mean, that's ever the there. Good stuff. Said, the right, good stuff. Right every house. source that's ever there. I love that. That's a good the, one. I hear that's the most reliable of the sources. Every source that's ever okay. there. You know, you could really, you. he's a dick. That's what he is. Um, Stay but, mad. Stay mad. By the way, I, I actually no, no, hope no. that we do send more money. This. By the way, by the way, you, hold on you now. You do realize I have the a, White I have House a, has come yeah, 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 out yeah, yeah, with yeah. that. He has they, sent. They have not come out with that number. Uh, I actually have... Um, a, a graph in front of me, a source DNC that tracks the mo- One second, stop talking. I have a graph in front of me of, of, of all the money that we've sent to Ukraine. It's from the Kiel Institute for the World Economy. It tracks all the funding that's gone to Ukraine right now, as of now. Uh, we've sent $73.96 billion to Ukraine. Yeah, There's more on the way. Now, we don't Harry, just pass. One sec. Can you stop talking for five seconds? Can you can you stop talking for five seconds, please? My no, God, I'm trying to explain either, something to you. So I'm trying to explain something to you. Just stop talking for five seconds. Uh, so this is the amount that we've already sent. There's more on the way. We have legislation in place that's going Which to send is more over gradually. I, I, can, I just dollars. asked if you could stop speaking for five seconds. No, so, I can't. Of course you, you can. Of course you just do this. Yip, 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 yip. You're like well, a chihuahua. Yip, 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 chihuahua. Yip, yip, yip. So, and by the way, it's not over $200 billion. We, we had originally before this, like around $65 billion sent to Ukraine. Then we approved another around $60 billion for Ukraine. So it's well under $200 billion. However, however, I'm just fact checking you right now. I wish we've sent more to Ukraine. I wish we sent $200 billion to Ukraine. For real. So you're okay. Yep. We are yep. okay with the fact that Americans are hurting. Wait, where, where should we put that money? For example, like you're saying, like you're against the money. Where should it go? Um, so one to our homeless veterans. Okay, good. Okay. Great. All mm-hmm. right. To all of our underprivileged, right? Kick okay. the illegal immigrants out. We've let okay. 10 million illegal immigrants Go ahead, keep under going. Biden's Keep going, rule. keep going, keep going. I don't need a rant. And just tell me where you want the money to go. Them, I, I don't need a rant. I just need you to tell me where the money's hotels. going. I don't need a hotels. I don't need a rant. I just need you to tell me where the money's going. So no, no, no. I'm, 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 immigration. I'm, I'm justifying everything. You didn't We're justify the other two. Hotels. You don't have to justify this We're one. Just keep going. We're giving them cards. Oh. We're giving That's them state cards policy. Good. That's not federal policy. I don't want to have to them. get into this conversation with you before we actually get through everything. So you said uh, homeless veterans, underprivileged immigrants, and what else? Is that it? Is that kind of your three main things? No, no, no. no. Le- okay, what's the fourth? No, no. Homeless veterans. Yeah, underprivileged. Are underprivileged people yeah, that actually immigrants. deserve to have it. Okay, and not those yeah. that are scamming the system. I am okay, saying right now, yeah. there's a lot that are scamming the system. Harry, you know that. I didn't say anything. I'm trying to get through your list quickly. I don't need you to go on a whole tirade about each individual one. I just want to know where you want to put the money. So homeless vets, underprivileged, like you can't actually immigrants. My God, 
Just give me the list. Underprivileged, that's it. Uh, homeless. That's it. Okay. So welcome to the Democratic Party because it's so ironic when you guys do stuff like this because that's exactly what the Democrats want to put funding. We're saying that's like, hey, let's give it to our homeless vets. Let's give it. No, no, no. Let's give it to our homeless vets. Let's give it to the underprivileged and then the whole illegal immigrant tirade. We but, can talk about that in a why, second. But, but the two main why? ones, if you don't stop talking, I'm going to no, mute you. No, the two main talk, ones you just talked about, underprivileged no. and homeless veterans, the Democrats are like, yeah, let's help those people. It's the Republicans okay, who block then, the funding. Here, Under Donald Trump, food benefits cut. Social Security proposed to be cut. Medicare proposed to be cut. All these social programs that you're talking about that help the underprivileged, the Democrats are the ones protecting those programs. The Republicans are the one who cut Harry, them. Donald Trump cut food benefits. Harry, so you are just why, why are you voting? Why are you voting for the guy who wants to cut the benefits you say are Harry, necessary for underprivileged? Harry, he's not. He did he's it during not. his presidency. He did it during his four years. He's not. He didn't actually. People did better under him that were in the Watch underprivileged this. than they ever did. But Harry, please no, tell me, please tell me, Harry, mm -hmm. why mm -hmm. have they cut hundreds of million dollars from the VA programs to give to the illegal immigrants? That's not true. It's not true. Oh, it is, Harry. So I have, a, I have a Reuters article in front of me. Trump administration moves to remove 700,000 people from food stamps. This was in December 4th, 2019. This was part of the yearly budget. That's because Trump wanted he to kick raised seven that's because he raised their income enough that they didn't need no, to be on it anymore. No, nope. That because if they if that was already the case, if their income rose above the amount that they need to be on it, then they would just not be on it anymore. He was cutting it so less people what? have access to Harry? food stamps. Do you not understand how the social programs work? If you I, move I above do the understand income, how they work, okay, Harry. great. So I've, you would know I've, that if you move above the income level, you're automatically taken off of it. You don't get to like, hey, you don't. If you start poor and then theoretically, let's say you win the lottery, article you that don't. You referenced. I read it. The, the reason Reuters why article. he said. The reason why they said he was going to remove all of those people is because those people were getting income bumps. Yeah, that's again, that's just complete nonsense. The, the Trump it's administration justification nonsense. is complete nonsense. It is nonsense because, again, if they if their employment just moves up to the point where they're not eligible anymore, they just don't get set food stamps or taken off the program. So what, what why would Donald Trump be cutting 700,000 people if they're taken off the program if they just are making enough? Dude, yeah, exactly. Because there's no, there's no argue. justification for taking food stamps away from people. Illogic. Yeah, you're right. You can't illogic. You can't argue with a logic. Perfect representation of MAGA. Everybody you can't. You can't argue with a logic. Yeah, you're right. You can't people argue with people Why who are the illogical. Why does always like attack yourself. people? Why can't you have like? Because a hold on now. Because you're voting. You're you just went on a tirade against illegal immigrants, like attacking them, saying you need we need to kick them all out. Which, by the way, is an awful idea. Uh, and then you, you expect me to be like Harry? nice to you. There, there's Why? people out there struggling. You expect me to be nice to you. I'm not going to be nice to you. Okay. But you do realize that the American taxpayer is now paying for the 10 million illegal immigrants plus 10 million that we know of. Plus that Biden let in from his crappy border control policies. And now we're giving them prepaid visas. Our VA people are getting kicked out. Our homeless people are getting kicked out. Hotels are getting moved up. We're now paying for meals for them. We're paying literally prepaid visa cards for them. This Why, is not federal policy. Harry? That's you're, you're, not federal you're, you're policy. You're right. It's not federal policy. So you're talking about like Joe Biden. This has nothing to do with Joe Biden. These are individual states making decisions. These are not individual states making decisions. This is the yes, federal government. Yes, it is. Government the that's the federal in. government's not providing anybody a credit card. Do you, do you oh, understand lady. that the states are providing them the credit card, but the federal government is back? Oh, she she was removed for <laughs> violations of the community guidelines, uh, probably because she went on this like super xenophobic rant about undocumented migrants saying that all of them need to be kicked out. What a terrible. I mean, what an insane idea. By the way, if you're curious, not 10 million people have come into the country. That was my point I was about to make in a second. But uh, she you know, it was just too crazy. So, uh, by the way, Venmo Cash App in the link in my bio, the uh, the link tree if you want to support. Obviously, it's optional. Julian, mom, golly, already. Julian, thank you for the $23 on Venmo saying thank you uh, so much for all you do to educate the illiterate. Golly, he's cooking them. He's cooking them. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Nick, my man, are you there? Are you still around? Or I'll find somebody else. You pick. All right, I think this guy's gone. Uh, yeah, but you know, don't uh, the whole like kick undocumented migrants out? All these Republicans are suggesting is like a really stupid idea. I don't know if they understand why it is a bad idea. I don't think she. You're missing Parker versus Parker right now. What? I don't know if she understands why it's a bad idea, but I digress. 
Um, all right, let's see here. Bring me up. Aqua says, bring me up. I feel like I've talked to this guy before, but I'll, I'll bring him up. Make sure you keep double tapping the screen, everybody. Boost those likes. Drop a follow if you haven't already. You know, you know Yo. the whole nine. What's up, man? All right, so I'm voting for Trump because, dude, he's badass. You cannot deny that. No, no, no. Actually, take me seriously for a second, bro. Like Trump, are you, Trump. Are you are you are you uh, playing like PlayStation while you do this? Like, what do I? Why am I here in the background? Oh, dude, I'm on Valor. My bad. All right, bro. If you're gonna play Valor, and I gotta kick you. All right. All right, later. All right, bye. Yeah, bro. It's like holy. Holly says Trump all the way. Oh my God, bro. Holy, ho Holly, please join, bro. Holly, I just invited you. She her bios. I'm here for the laughs. There are only two genders. FJB is her bio. Please, Holly. Don't don't run from me. Don't run from me, Holly. She's not gonna join. It never they never do. They never do. It's a it's a terrible shame. It's a terrible shame. It's always so funny when I see people with bios like that. You gotta be kidding me. Is this Holly? <gasps> I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. Holly. Hello. Are you MAGA? I'm straight MAGA, yes. Why? Why, why, why? Because he does everything that he says he's going to do. Really? So Mexico paid for the wall? Thank you, Stephanie, for the subscription. Oh my God. Are you really this big of an idiot? How much uh, yeah, do you get paid to actually? I, am. Did, I would did love Mexico, to know did Mexico how much pay for you the wall? get paid to I get paid a trillion dollars a second by Taylor Swift and George I Soros. I would love to know how much I just you told paid. you, a trillion dollars a second by George Soros and Taylor Swift. I was I was made in a DNC lab. I was printed by like an early three. No, I for real. I here. want to know how much money you make because I would love to do it. I make I make a trillion dollars a second. I have you a don't such make a, a trillion good gig dollars. You're a fucking idiot. I, I do. I make a trillion dollars a second. Idiot. Taylor Swift, uh, who is my mother, <laughs> and George Soros, who is my father, uh, printed me in a DNC oh, lab, God. and now I'm here. So anyway, did Mexico pay for the wall or not? They didn't even get to finish doing it. But did they All pay they for did any was of it? Just hammer on Trump the whole time he did, was in office. Did they office. pay for any of it? Hammer on him. Did the they pay for any of it? The Democratic Party was all they did <laughs> to try to absolutely. Wait, wait, wait! Hold on, Holly. You're not answering my no, question. No, you're did, an idiot. Did, the, you are did so Mexico pay for any of it? And you get paid millions of dollars. I'm sure. I get paid you millions. Golly, you, you guys think way too much of me. Now, Holly, can you answer my? Are you are you up here to have a conversation? Are you here to rant? Holly, this is Why not a therapy Trump. session. That's all you I'm do. not I'm not your therapist. This is not a therapy session, right? This is not a Holly venting session where you air your grievances out on the world. I'm here to talk politics. So if you're not here to talk and she left, see she said, Oh, this is not my therapy session, then it's time to leave. It's time to leave. Everybody should go to therapy, especially Holly. What a terrible thing. Uh Lisa, thank you for the five dollars. I appreciate you. She just wouldn't stop talking. She comes in here anyway. <laughs> I mean, golly, what are we dealing with this? What are we dealing with? Uh, this evening, folks, it was it was crazy. Anyway, uh, all right. If you're mag out here, let me know. I'll bring you up. We'll talk. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk. Golly, <laughs> golly. Uh, Vivek says go Trump. I can't invite him for some reason, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would, uh, because that's insane. Anybody, anybody saying go Trump? Come on, guys, you got to be better than that. All these, all these people who want. For so, for some reason, the worst for America. I don't I don't I don't get it. All right, I'm dropping this guy in the box. What's up, bro? How old are you? What's up, man? I'm uh I'm 25. All right. Uh, are you are you in a car? No, I'm outside. Oh. Okay. So, are, why are you MAGA? Yeah. Um, the reason why I'm MAGA is because under President Trump, nothing good ever happened for us. Under and, Trump, nothing ever good happened. No, no, no. I, I, under Biden. I'm nothing good happened. Okay. Nothing, so when Biden nothing. expanded health care, let me for finish. Who let me let me let me finish. I'm also Ukrainian. And I was listening to you earlier that you agree that we should send over a hundred billion dollars to yeah. Ukraine yeah. for a worthless war and that Ukrainians should die for no damn reason. No, nope, you didn't know say this. that. No, they're, they're... it doesn't matter. That's what you All right, are you done saying. yet? Are you done yet? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, so when Joe Biden passed expanded health care for veterans who were exposed okay. to toxic burn pits abroad, you didn't think that was a good thing? No. <clears throat> okay, let me just say it again. I just want to make sure. Joe Biden expanded health care for veterans who were exposed to toxic burn pits abroad. Do you know what burn pits are? He, he, he did not do that. Wait, hold on. Do you know what burn you pits are? You gave your information out Hold on now. Ass. Do you know what you burn pits are? This. 
Do you know what burn pits are? Information out of your Do you know what burn pits are? Let me finish. Let me finish. No, I'm not. I'm asking you a question. Do you know what burn pits are? No. Okay, so burn pits are essentially these big holes that military. I'm not done yet. These big holes that military members dig when they're serving abroad, and then they'll throw all their waste in there, and then they'll light it on fire to get rid of it, right? But then the fumes from all this burning waste gets into their lungs, and they breathe it in. It can affect their brain, affect their lungs. And previously, their claims for healthcare at the VA would be denied. Their burden of proof would be incredibly high to prove that they're damaged. Now, President Biden made it easier for them to get health care. And now a million applications have been accepted for people exposed to toxic fumes abroad when they're serving to now get health care. You're telling me that a million more people getting health care for their service is a bad thing? No, I never said that. You here's the thing. How is I that asked relate? you if you disagree How with Biden expanding health care to How veterans. You said relate? it's a bad thing. How does that relate to what's going on in Ukraine? How does that relate? No, 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 I'm asking you. Wait, wait. Your first statement was that nothing good has happened under Joe Biden. And I'm responding to you that you don't even believe that. You And by the way, originally you said that you don't like Biden doing it, but now you say that it's not a bad thing. So which one is it? What do you mean? Okay. I don't like the fact that we American uh, uh, taxpayers are funding the Ukrainian war. I'm not. Hold that's on. We'll I'm talk not, about. That's oh what I don't God. like. I'm not talking about Ukraine. I'm, I'm going to talk about Ukraine in a second, but I'm asking you, you said your original statement was, and then you said, don't cut me off when I was trying to address it, which is fine. Yeah, because I'm trying uh, to and talk I about asked Ukraine. You, I'm not talking about you, your, I'm not talking you, about what you're talking Do you support Biden expanding health care to veterans or not? And you said, no, I don't. Then I explained it to you. Now you said that it's not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. So which one is it? Is it good or bad? No, it's There's no evidence of that. What there's do you mean? No evidence of Biden there's doing health, it? There's a lot of veterans are homeless. All right, no bro. funding. Let me Biden. Look, watch this. Watch this. Biden passes. They have no packed. funding, dude. I don't care where you're going to look at. It's it's not true because. The so wait, the Associated the Press reality. talking about over one million claims related to toxic exposure granted under the new veterans law passed by Joe Biden. You think they're lying? Yes. You think uh, yes. you think the VA, the do VA. You, do, wait, do you, do you believe, think? Wait, wait, hold on. Do you think that VA.gov is lying? Yes. Do you believe everything oh. that's online? Do you v- think? Hold on do now. Do you know what the va.gov is? Everything that you believe is online. That's what you. Do you know what, you what va.gov is? I don't care. Do you really think that the official? You, wait, hold on. Do now. you believe? Please, no, no, no. Stop it. Stop believe, it. This is really concerning. Do you believe this everything really, that's online? Hold on now. This is answer really me that question. Wait, actually, I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put you into the TikTok Hall of Fame quotes. What's your username? Okay. User or whatever. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, the VA and the money that we're fake. spending right now on Ukraine, it should go to uh, towards our country. Okay, I'm not, we're not border, talking about Ukraine. I told you we're going to talk about it in just a second. Border, Just take a breather, buddy. Okay, border, we're talking about veterans right now. It should now. go. It should we're, go. Wait, we're talking about veterans it, right it now. We're talking towards the border. So, by the way, I just put you into the TikTok Hall of Fame okay. quotes, which are the okay. worst quotes. Do you that. calling the VA yeah. fake? Uh, yeah. But I'm I'm asking you a question. Do you know what the VA is? No. You don't know what the VA is. No. Quite frankly, I don't care because it's all fake, bro. Whatever you – you getting paid. You literally getting paid for this. Oh, my God. This guy is it. so – this guy is vet, – the, the Veterans Affairs Department for the uh-huh. federal government yeah, yeah. take cares of veterans? Mm-hmm. You, you, you don't know yeah. what that is? I do know what that is. I So wh- why do you keep flip-flopping? I just asked do you know what that is. You say no, and now you're saying you do know – which one is it? Do you Okay. Let me try again. Do you know what the VA is? Yes. Okay, Harry, great. Harry, Glad it doesn't so, fucking matter. You're getting paid, kid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. The come v- back. No, user, come back. Don't fake. leave on me. The VA Don't leave is on fake me. Come back. You're getting paid, Harry. The VA is fake because you're getting paid, Harry. <laughs> Don't leave. Hold on now. Look, this guy's running now. Don't leave. Is he leaving? I think he's leaving. I, I think he's looking up what is the VA. What? What is the VA? It's fake. The PAC Act. It was fake. I, I promise. I promise. Yeah, he, bro, he just told me the PAC Act is fake. My mom's, brother, my mom's brother's dad's sister works in the Biden admin. They told me it was fake. They told me. They told me it was fake. Dude, when he signed the, the bill, when he signed the bill, they told me that he went back in the yeah, he's Dude, he left. Of course he did, dude. He's getting fried. Oh my God, bro. He go, he comes in here and tells me. I say, hey, hey, I, I asked him. He was like, yeah, you know, Biden, nothing good has happened under Biden and we're sending a bunch of money to Ukraine. I say, okay, do you think Biden expanding healthcare to veterans was a ba- was a good thing? He goes, no. Uh, okay. <laughs> no. All right, bro. And he's like, it's fake. It's fake. He, like, I All think right, he left bro. probably because he's like got to go deal with the fact that he didn't know Biden expanded uh, healthcare for veterans. Yeah, I don't I think, think he knew that. I, I, I say, do you believe Thanks the VA.gov yes, yes. website talking about the fact that he says, no, it's fake. Come on, yep, no, bro. Harry, Harry, my brother's sister's uncle is a Secret Service member, and uh, he says that <laughs> Biden doesn't care about the VA. 
That's what he told me. So ridiculous. All right, if you're Mag in the chat and you're like one of these lunatics, come on up. We will. And then, uh, and then, if, it's always when they're getting crushed, they gotta hit it with though. Well, you're being paid, bro. If yeah, I'm being dude. paid, this should be so easy to like just debunk. Dude, I had this girl come up here, Molly. I think I think her name was before this, and um, I was like cooking her, and she's like, "Well, you're you're paid. Like, I want to know how much you make a year." I said, "Bro, what are you talking about? Get the hell out! I'm free. Get the hell out of my life." I'm free. Yo, thank you guys so much for all the gifts. Great to see everyone. I know it's been a few days. I took I took Where's, two days off. After I went live till like seven a.m. two nights ago with uh, we were co-hosting with um. Jaden, we were coasting with Jaden. I, I needed. I, I mean, I had to. I was really. Uh, my body was like giving. Hi, Harry. Yo, Mar Whoa, Miranda. Think of the twenty-five dollars on Venmo. W. Miranda saying for educating the brainwash right wing. Uh, I tried to. I tried to do it in real life, in real time here in Texas. You have a wider reach. Thank you. And before you ask, yes, I had signed slash voted for Beto, and, and realized it's an uphill battle. That's amazing. Te you're putting in work in Texas. I love it. And Julie, thank you for the twenty dollars on Venmo. I appreciate you so much. All right, what's up, bro? Not the How you man? Raid. I'm good, man. Are you MAGA? Parker yeah, Raid. I, I was in here uh, the other day, actually. I'm surprised you picked me again. Oh, no. Oh, I do remember you now that you mentioned it. Yeah. Raul, thank you for the $5 in this, and uh, for, for Dump Trump. I appreciate you. And James, thank you for the $16.18. I remember you. Do you yeah, have anything else you want to talk so about? for $10. Feel... Funnel through yeah, the It's really great to see you. About, I appreciate uh, you so much, really. Like the wars and stuff? I don't, I don't know much <laughs> about it. Um... What do you have to like? Which wars are you talking about in particular? Um, like just the wars. I don't know. I, I'm I'm I, I'm I've been on this live for three minutes, and I'm gonna I'm gonna dolphin dive into my setup, dude. I mean, <laughs> every time I exp I really expect it to be better. Every time oh, I get man. on, I I don't know how I've been going live so much over the last few months, and every time I get on, I like think it's somehow gonna be different, and yet five minutes in, it's it's what what do you think about the wars? Oh my fuck. Dude, what do you? What does that mean? Chris, why are you talking? I'm talking to Chris, <laughs> or I'm talking to Harry. Dude, because because I'm fucking Chase. No offense, man. I'm losing my mind a bit over here, man. Well, you can't come up, dude, 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 dude. You can't come up in the live and go and go. What do you think about the war? The wars? And Harry's like, what war? He's like, just the wars. The, what does that mean? What do you, you mean? You have to, you... Chase. You have to specify a little bit. Like, what wars are you talking about? I don't know. I'm asking you. I don't know uh, which war. All right, bro. I, I I think that war is bad. All right. Well, then, <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm hearing that Biden's starting, trying to start wars, not trying to start wars, that starting wars, not friends with other people. And no, else. Biden Biden hasn't started. <laughs> Look at all you DNC shills. Look at us. All of you are paid by Dude, the DNC. Fire. Dude, what all the of hell you are paid. Fire. Holy shit. Dude, that's fire. You're all paid. And I promise you, you guys are wrong. You're all wrong, okay? Trust me, bro. Please, bro. Trust me. I have these sources right here. Dude, that's so good. They're sick. so good. Dude, the sword, they're fire. so good, dude. dude what? Yo, they're they're so good, fire. everyone. They get, trust me, please. Yo, W. Parker right here. Yo, W. Parker. I do. I do. Yeah. What's up, everyone joining in? Chase, Chase, Chase. Why does Biden want to start a war? Why do you want to do that? No, I'm on something else because y'all are just gonna bully me about it. We're not I, bullying I, I, you. We're not bullying base? you. Hey, Appreciate y'all bully it. everybody that comes in here. We no, we chase, you, chase. Do I bully? Dude. Am I a bully, Chase? I don't know you, Parker. Well, then do you want to have a do you have a conversation with me? Or you can talk no, to Parker if you once want. Once again, just thing I, I just same thing I said to Chris. I'm on here with Harry. I'm not talking to you. Okay, I'll be okay. quiet. Then. All right, Chase. You and I will talk. I promise. It'll be a one well, one on one conversation. So, what would you like to talk about? Um. Fuck, I forgot. <laughs> we can also add teammates for you. Would you like that? Yeah, we can add more people if you'd like. No, no, no. How about this? How about I'll, I'll be on Chase's team. I, I bet I could debate. I bet I could help <laughs> Chris. You. I'm not even lying. Chase, look, let me help you. So you talk oh, about... Oh, you're a clip. I, I saw your TikTok, and that's what made me... Chase. Um, get on here. What? My my TikTok? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. It was right. uh, a Trump um, speech. Yeah. Okay. Of him hard to get through a sentence. Struggling to get through, yeah. What about so, all the times that Biden okay. has struggled to get through a sentence? No, I'm, I'm serious. I know you know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about because Biden has a stutter. He has an actual speech impediment, so people will confuse him stuttering with him like having mental decline, which is like incredibly offensive, but what about, he doesn't. He just has a stutter. What about him? Someone asked, what would you describe? America, 
Or no, he said <laughs> America can be described in a few sentences. Chase, There's Chase, are you Chase? I have to be. I have to. I, how old are you, Chase? If you don't mind me asking. I'm not saying. How much? How old? Nineteen. Nineteen. Are you? What are you doing right now? I'm in bed. Are you like, uh, uh using any substances currently? No, no. I have a speech problem. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. And I have a severe dyslexia, so you have to excuse. Me. Okay. Then, then, hey, hey. Then, it's, then, then, truly, that's my bad. Then, it's no worries at all. It's my bad. Yeah. It's no just, worries so we, at all, Chase. We, yeah, we've um, had. That, that's truly fine. We've had a streak. So, of, we've had I, a streak like, of people coming on. That's my bad. That's on. That, like, yeah, we, we a lot of people come up under the influence. It's just a, it's been a time we've had crazy oh, stuff no, like that. But, Chase, so so do you do you think it's wrong for people to make fun of people with like speech impediments? Uh, no, not really. I wouldn't say I have a speech impediment. I have a. Like, ADHD and I can like flip flop. Well, you would say like there sometimes there be speaking issues and you wouldn't like people making fun of you because like of the way that you speak, right? And in the same way that you wouldn't like that, right? It's bad for Donald Trump to make fun of people with stutters, right? Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Chase. I, I know sorry. what you're about to do because you're about to say he's like talking about Biden, right? Yeah, he he did make fun of people with stutters. I mean, he's also made fun of people who are disabled, right? I think that's really messed up. Do you want me to yeah, show you? you? Look, yeah, you, you, we can pull up the clip for you. Made fun of a disabled reporter. Made fun of Joe Biden's stutter. It's not good stuff. It's really like evil things to do. Well, I mean, I'm just, I'm not, I, I'm able, I'm paralyzed. Uh, you probably remember that, Harry. But um, anyway, about, about this, I, I'll, I'll get sidetracked. Biden said... America can be explained in like one word. I don't remember. And he just mumbled. It's a, it's a, it's a selectively cut off clip. Like you, you don't listen to the whole thing. You'll see these clips. I know, I know what clip you're talking about. That's, that's yeah. What I'm so asking. he, he, he went on to describe. I don't actually remember what he described it as. I don't, I don't remember the context. Are you able to pull it up, or is that too much? I mean, we could, we could pull it up. Yeah, if you, if you want. Maybe um, but obviously, opinion. the clip is like six seconds, and um, people don't, you know. Yeah. I, give the also, whole thing. I also, uh, I also think it's important to mention here. And uh, Chase, I, I want to apologize for my previous comments there. Man. No, you're I, fine. You're fine. There. No, you're um, but I, I do appreciate being respectful. Um, no, I mean, I, I, I do think it's also like a lot of it is, you know, Biden's age and having a stutter. But, um, you know, he's also, um, well, Biden having a stutter, but he's also just old. Like, I don't think it's a secret that he's old and like uh, is going to, you know, slip up sometimes but i think that like objectively it's very clear from everyone's words like republicans have talked about how he's sharp world leaders have talked about how he's sharp like no one in his administration has expressed any concerns he's like very productive as opposed to trump who like uh very much seems like all over the place and so many uh so many people have said that he like isn't coherent he's had now like 40 of his former cabinet members come out and say you shouldn't vote for him so like you know i think there's a difference between you know like being old and slipping up and like not knowing kind of what's going on yeah um what about the poll numbers how are they doing they're not great not great for biden yeah well i mean i, I don't I, I don't think we use poll numbers to justify these things and would you say the same thing in 2016 yeah i've seen a tiktok and i don't really go off of other people's tiktok i'll tell you one thing harry that dude that calls you hair bear boy he's funny I, i'm sorry I know y'all know. I, I, I don't know who that is. I don't know who calls me that. You don't? No. You ought to look him up. I also, why can't, why, Parker, why, I keep trying to add somebody. It says the number of users pending multi-guest for this room has reached the limit. That's incoherent. Um, You might want to swap to a different, uh, like, the way it looks. Like, go to the grid and then go back. And if anything, uh, you can drop us and then add us back because it should be able to, you should be able to add more. Let me, maybe, maybe it was just that guy. Let me try somebody else. Oh. Yeah, it was okay. just that person. Sometimes it just glitches out. Yeah. Yo, Molly, think of the $5 saying nurses against Trump. Sorry, Chase, what was your original comment? Um, I don't know. I got to talk about that. Dude, but I, I don't know. What, I what was it you just said before I asked Parker that question? I was talking about that dude that called you hair bear. He oh, like, yeah. No, I don't. I'm not familiar who that is. I don't. Well, you, you should look at him. You may not be interested. He, uh, <clears throat> He comments, he goes and takes your videos on TikTok. Oh, are you talking about older millennial? Maybe. I don't I don't know. So, well, so the guy who said it was okay to literally throw mentally disabled people off a mountain? No, that wasn't him because I've seen all his videos. He didn't say that. Yeah, of course. Well, he, he said it on live. It. 
Yeah, we we were there. It was actually no, no, the dude, I'm, the dude I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure. Who I'll show you is, a picture. But... Yo, Trey, thank you for the three. Man, the one dollar saying, was... "Love seeing the three goods live." I appreciate you, Trey. Um, hey, he's funny. He he is right. uh, funny. Okay. But I, I seen you were talking about this guy. No, this dude. He's uh, bald. Doesn't have a beard. Okay. Okay. I don't. I don't know. Anyway, listen. If you don't know any other topics regarding Trump, we'll drop you down and uh, bring somebody. Well, else I was going to talk okay. to you. I mean, if I if I've reached my limit, I can go. I was going to talk to talk about the border. Um. I mean, we can make maybe make it quick. We just want to give other people an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever I need to go, you sh- let me go. Yeah, yeah so right, how so do you, you feel about Trump trying to block the border bill and saying blame it on me if the border bill fails? What do you mean? You ought to explain a little bit more. Yeah, how do you feel about Trump literally saying blame it on me if the border bill fails? He didn't want the uh, Republicans to uh, pass the border bill because it is the case that it um, that it would uh, it had Ukraine funding and then Ukraine funding got passed a few weeks later, and then because he didn't want Democrats to look good, so the only you know reason left is Democrats looking good. Like him so. blocking off the border? No, so like the the reason why he got re- like Republicans in Congress to vote against the border bill. No, I don't even know what you're talking about, man. Yeah, so basically there was a border bill that Biden and Senate Democrats and Senate Republicans agreed on. It would, was like the most comprehensive immigration bill in the past like three decades, four decades. And uh, Biden's like, yeah, I'll sign it. The Democrats in the Senate were like, yeah, we're like, we like this. The Republicans in the Senate were like, yeah, we like this. And the Rep- and then Donald Trump was like, eh, not a fan. And he called his buddies in Congress, told them to vote against it. Um, and they did. And now the border is still a problem because, well, um, uh, Donald Trump voted against the bill. Parker, this dude has your profile picture. Who? Should I add him in? Yeah, do it. Uh, is it the Harry Harry? Oh, um, I, I think I, I can't invite him either. I think he I think he like has a restriction on his account or something. Oh, yeah, it's like <laughs> Harry blank. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say I ask y'all to do one more thing. If listen, y'all, if y'all want this, y'all ain't got to. If Trump wins, okay, I want y'all to make one video on y'all's TikTok saying one good thing that Trump did. No, I, it. Nope. Like, I'm not gonna make a video, but I'll say it right now. Like I, I think Operation Warp Speed was good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll let y'all get off here. And again, hey, y'all, Chase, y'all I, killing it. Chase, y'all I appreciate you, man. Be, be, be Thanks, safe Chase. and whatever. Uh, I appreciate you being young and like a young person involved in politics. So whatever decision you decide to make, man, I, I respect it. I appreciate. Right. It. Thanks, All Chase. Right. Appreciate you, man. Have a good night, <sighs> dude. Chris is so nice, bro. Dude, no, Parker. <laughs> dude, dude. Dude, I'm a horrible human being, dude. Bro, you, 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 you're, you're, you, it wasn't intentional, bro. It wasn't intentional. Oh, man. Bro, why can't I invite people? The number eight keeps doing this. Dude, oh my goodness. Wow. I actually yeah, feel you can so... Have a, you can have a mod do it. You can give I, me mod I actually feel try to do it. so awful for that, dude. I All feel right, so dude. awful. Wow. I'm for so what? sorry. Hey, so Par- I don't think Parker really, like, was here for that. Uh, it's fun. We'll talk about it later, Parker. Okay. Dude, you're good. It's no problem. All right, if you're mag in the chat, let us know. We'll bring you up. Uh, the man I, is not coming up for some reason. His request probably expired. But let us know if you're mag. Uh, we will bring you up. We'll bring you up. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> TV12. Tom Brady? Tom Brady guy? Eli Manning is his father, by the way. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. Yeah, what's up? What's up, man? You see, I'm voting for Trump. Yeah. Why is that? Dude, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. It, does this guy, no way that this guy has a picture. Dude, is that prize picks in your profile picture, dude? <laughs> yeah. Why? Dude, why? I want, a lot of mo- I want a lot of money that day. <laughs> How old are you? Well, well you, can, you can bet it here if you'd like to. Yeah, 21. Yeah. You're, you said you're 21. Yeah. That's a, dude, that's, I mean, that's a pretty, like, high, like, that's a, that's a like, to, to win on prize picks, like a five leg, and then make your TikTok profile picture i mean that's a that's a decision dude i mean okay oh, so, so why are you maga brother i just think the economy was better under trump and what George Connor, of that? Uh, why am i maga i'm not really essentially necessarily maga i'm just anti-democrat are you voting trump absolutely okay so tb um what, what do you think trump did that caused the economy to be better he just made it better how so? Okay, nice. 
Josh. You just did. Yes, yeah, so like really important here, cause and effect. Correlation without causation is a big thing. If we go look at like Maine, uh, the <laughs> that's right, Parker. The rates, the rate of like divorce correlates perfectly with I think like the consumption of of tangerines. Like obviously, we wouldn't say that those two things uh, they, they're like you wouldn't say tangerines are causing people to get divorced, but they happen to have a correlation. So really important when you say like, oh, the economy was better to be able to say why. Well, Devin, are you guys going to necessarily blame all of inflation on the pandemic, COVID? <clears throat> is, is that going to be your go-to argument for all of that? Wait, what? Uh, I mean, I don't inflation. think it's it's not it's not a it's not a go-to argument. It's like a every economist would agree that the main cause of inflation was the COVID pandemic and supply and demand. Okay, so what has Biden done to combat um, inflation? Well, first of all, I think, well, okay, yo, TB12. He's lower costs in a variety of ways, but go ahead, Chris. Yeah, wait, TB12, can you, like, go what, like, attacking shrinkflation, which no one really cares about, Bidenomics? That's because, that's because we're not under shrinkflation, dude. And number two, dude, TB12, I love you, man, but do you think you can, like, mute your mic? I don't know if you're outside or something. Oh, I don't yeah, know. I'm sorry. There's, some, there's somebody who like, has, like, audio in the back. Yeah, okay, there you it's go. It's him, yeah. I, I think he's just, like, wrong. Yeah, so number one, there's certainly not shrinkflation. I also think it's important to mention that just in, in terms of lowering costs, like, I specifically immediately go to, like, pharmaceuticals, using Medicare to uh, cap things like insulin, um, uh inhalers antivirals um and you know passed like tons of legislation that's led to like uh, a significant amount of job growth i think that uh, obviously like the fed has a main role in in curbing inflation uh but you talk about also things like uh gas prices you know we're producing more oil now than ever before in american history and along with a lot of those economic bills it's uh you know been easier for people to live can i ask uh, actually i want to ask about the uh, the job numbers because Mm -hmm. The Biden administration loves to pump out the job numbers, but in reality, they're, they're predominantly part-time jobs, and a lot of them are government jobs. Um, yeah, so I think that, like, uh, wait, real quick, I want to find this graph. I think that, like, what you're, like, about to, or the the direction you're about to go down, I would just, like, uh, disagree that this job market is, like, uh, fundamentally different in some way like it's being not the job numbers being faked but this idea that the Biden administration's like oh we crush job numbers and they're all uh part-time unemployment or government jobs uh this is like a similar line of talk to like a lot of our jobs right now are uh held by people who are not uh not not citizens they're immigrants whether they're citizens or no, not you're correct but, yeah yeah but like which is that's, not a great thing no, it's it actually is a great thing. It's actually fantastic. It's been cited many times that if we didn't have the amount of immigrants, whether they're citizens or not in the country right now, our economy, we'd be in like a full blown recession. Our GDP would not have would not have grown nearly as much. And we've already saw that trend going toward the pandemic. But when the pandemic hit, boomers started retiring so fast that they retired two to one to every worker. So we literally don't have enough native born Americans to work every single job. And so it's been cited many times that like the amount of immigrants we have working jobs right now is the only reason that or one of the main reasons we have the strongest economy in the world and our gdp is going to double any country next year like it, it it's there isn't americans to take those jobs we literally don't have enough people our workforce yeah. is uh, aging too fast well, uh, you know i think it's necessary for the bad. future immigrants have a higher labor force participation rate so in order for us to be able to pay for social security medicare exactly. and all of these different types of social programs we rely upon immigration to be able to do that and, and it's also necessary for our modern economy uh, exactly and assuming that you're going to talk about you know how biden uh, you're going to be Republicans are often very obsessed with the deficit uh, or, you know, how we're spending too much money. Like the all these immigrants who are working jobs, whether they're citizens or not, are paying into Social Security. And so if we didn't have them, not only would we be in a recession, but our deficits would explode. Um, and so, yeah, I don't see how that's a negative. Well, you know, I, I tend to agree with that mostly, but that's because most Americans won't take those lower paying jobs and the immigrants are coming and taking those lower paying jobs. No, no, but it's, it's, no, 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 no. It's not because the jobs are lower paying. It's literally because we do not have enough Americans. Our workforce is too old and retiring much faster than we get new workers. So it's not low paying jobs. It's just jobs. So I, I yeah, love because, to because for legal immigrants. Wait, wait, Connor. I, I, for, sorry, I don't mean to cut ahead. you off. No, go ahead. Well, it's like legal immigrants can can only bargain like at the price floor. I agree with that. Yep. I, okay, I want to see. So the, I mean, how does that bring down wages if it is the case that everyone else is already doing that? No, I, t I tend to agree with a lot of those points, but I, I do think that illegal immigrants coming to the country, taking in the lower paying jobs. I mean, that you are stepping aside younger Americans. So you're talking about the boomer Americans retiring. Some of those younger Americans could take those jobs. Now, whether or not they want to take those jobs, I don't know. I think a lot of younger kids are going to college and taking on massive amounts of debt that 
you know, the Biden administration then wants to cancel. But I think the whole college system is skewed in a way as well. So well, when that's Harry, you went to NYU, right? How much debt do you have or do your parents pay for it all? And that's Wait, not- Connor, Connor, how about this? Let's provide competition wow. by providing free public universities. So everyone still has access to this method of social mobility, but it also provides competition towards the private universities right now that are increasing costs and not increasing quality. Well, that's because the federal government stepped in and gave student loans. No, 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 no. That's 100 no, no. true. No, so that's that's no, interest. No, wait, wait. That's wait, wait. interest. But if you want to fix no, no, that, no, no, have no. the federal have the federal government step in to provide free public universities because that provides competition rather than increasing artificial demand. Well, we already have state universities, and what I'm saying is the federal government came in and started giving out student loans, which then the universities knows the money's coming from the, the federal government. And they Those can aren't free, it. though. Those aren't free public universities. That doesn't provide proper uh, competition. Okay, so who's going who's gonna to pay for the free federal it's university? It's $70 billion a year. One-tenth of our military budget can pay for it. And so you want to knock out of our military budget? Absolutely. Uh, I think that's insane. But you know, that's cut, not, well, No, it's not. We could cut our military budget in half, and we could still have $100 billion more than China. I, I disagree with cutting wait, anything wait, from military. I, I budget. also just want to point out here that like the, the two steps you just took were like completely incoherent in terms of logic. You can't say that uh, uh, illegal immigrants are coming in, taking low paying jobs that young Americans need and then say, well, obviously the data doesn't reflect that because that's why we've had like one of the, we had the longest stretch of unemployment under uh, under 4% in US history and the lowest unemployment rate a few months ago at 3.4% uh, uh, since 1969. The data doesn't suggest that people want jobs and can't find them. And number and then you acknowledge that and said, oh, well, it doesn't really matter anyway. They don't want the jobs. They're going to college and I disagree with them taking on loans. Well, that's your opinion. That's not how the US economy works. And number three, the federal government isn't just walking in and canceling all these uh, random student student loans for people. A lot of these are like very niche for specific groups of people. We talk about universities that have defrauded people and, have now gone under facing criminal charges, so their degrees are worthless. We talk about uh, certain groups of first responders, uh, which I don't think you tell a police officer or a firefighter who's struggling to uh, put money into our economy that, oh, fuck them, they shouldn't get their student loans erased. Certain low-income people, yeah, certain... That, that uh, wasn't the original Biden plan. I mean, yes, he had to go that yeah, route. That was, yeah, so that, that is... That, uh, forever. Well, that is what's going on, and you... So you... I understand that, yep. 100%. So you started with, well, it doesn't matter because the federal government is coming into a race. And then now you agree that they're not coming into a race and that that was they just are coming the point. Into a race. But he can't do it because the Supreme Court blocked him. OK. All right. <laughs> I just feel like you're kind of like pivoting a little bit. That's fine. So bring up a topic. Let's discuss it. You guys want to talk the crime numbers? Because are you, are you going to vote for someone who's been held liable for sexual abuse? Would you vote for them? I think a ton of federal politicians in our history could have been held, could have been held for. That's right. Um, there's a lot of sexual abuse, and I wouldn't vote for anyone. There's a lot of presidents paying off. You wouldn't vote for Bill Clinton again, because right. he could have been held. He, liable. He's not been held liable for sexual abuse. He could and, have been. He absolutely could have and been. And no, I wouldn't vote. Wait, for Bill could have been for for what? Dude, he also made a hush money payment. A hush money payment for up wait, to that's not but making hush money payments. Not illegal, and it's not sexual abuse. So what could he have been held accountable? You for? just charged. No, no, no. Donald Trump was not held legally responsible for making a hush money payment. So wait, how could Bill? How could Bill Clinton? How could Bill Clinton be held? accountable for sexual abuse in any capacity i mean it could have been abuse of power it, it, holding the president of the united states and then using i mean that's abuse to to go after that's... an intern an intern harry an intern yeah and she said it was consensual she said it was consensual now should he have done it no years later she, i think that's she wrong said it was not no she did no she talked about how it was Harry, I, I think if you're going to defend Bill Clinton, you're going. You're no, going. I'm not defending Bill Clinton. I think what he did is wrong. But to say that it was sexual abuse is incorrect. Again, There's like, like that's like a wild thing to say. And also like to misrepresent Donald Trump's case that badly is just like kind of embarrassing. Well, OK, so you guys want to talk about that case? Because sure. why don't you guys explain to me the crime? Falsifying business records in the first degree. That's a misdemeanor. No, it's no, a classy felony. No, Holy when it's a, when it's <laughs> falsifying business records in the first degree, that's not a misdemeanor. Falsifying business records itself is a misdemeanor in New York State when it's elevated or when it's a cla- uh, in, in the first degree, it's a felony. So I, I would say normally those things in New York City where the, over one hundred and sixty thousand dollars, those are never even brought to case. Yeah. So why was it upgraded to a felony, Connor? That's also not true. Oh, okay, here we Why was it caught him? Wait, 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 wait. As, as we've as we've pivoted ahead, into, as we've pivoted and defied logic like four more times in a row. Why was it upgraded to a felony? I, I, you tell me. Exactly. Bro, so wait, do you not know? Oh my god. See, that's why was saying. it upgraded to a felony? Because you, I'm asking you. Do you know in, why it was? They tied in. They tied in federal election campaign laws. So you okay? So you're you're acknowledging that it was a felony because but then the, the falsified business records with the intent to conceal to help his election prospects, right? 
Yes, but the federal government came out and said there was no case there. They had to bring it to a state level and charge it. Yes, That's, they did. That, that is not what the federal government says. What they no. said. You got to you got to stop fucking reading headlines. The FEC investigated this and actually determined their lawyers were like, this could definitely be criminal. The thing is, when they vote on uh, they, when they vote Why on things, they bring it. Yeah, because what? Because you got to read more than the headlines. The FEC can't bring a case. That's not the way they do. And so when the lawyers were like, this could be criminal, they voted to try to see like what the punishment would be. But the FEC is made up of a board of like six people when they vote on these things. And it's split partisan, like three. I think it's actually eight, four Republican and four Democrat. And so they're usually gridlocked. They can't get anything done. That day when they voted, two of them were out. So it was three Republicans and three Democrats and or like two Republicans and two Democrats. And the Democrats were like, clearly something happened. And the Republicans were like clearly something didn't so they had to meet in the middle and agree that it was wrong and that they could find them but that they won't suggest charges and that was it everybody knows that fec has like no authority to bring these things and it's purely fucking partisan okay so then why was it brought to new york city and manhattan at a state level because it's where the crime took place it's the jurisdiction that's why they investigated okay but the, the, manhattan shouldn't have the jurisdiction of tying a federal campaign law they, they didn't they didn't have to prove the federal campaign law he got charged with falsifying business records in the first degree and he took a step to conceal or commit a larger crime which was concealing the election yeah if and you also that's new york state law yeah it, well exactly yeah if you're if you're violating uh election law in a certain state even if it pertains to a federal election that's still against the law of that state so do you think if it's brought to the supreme court to hold up or even the appellate yeah courts? why why yeah yeah what constitutional issue would it be brought to the supreme court on I again, I'm not a constitutional lawyer. I don't think any none of the four yeah, but you have to, in order to bring something to the Supreme Court, you have to actually like raise a constitutional is, issue. So are you just saying like hypothetically, if it magically got there or are you saying that there's well, a constitutional I think there's, issue? I think, the case? I think there's definitely a good chance it ends up there someday. I don't, I don't think it'll happen before the election. Based on what? Based on what? I think it'll go through the appellate courts in New York. And I, I think at some point but based on up. what? Like what constitutional issue will they raise? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not a constitutional lawyer. I think so. Then why do you think it's gonna? Okay. So then why do you think it's gonna end up there? Because he because, feels like it. No, because I, feel listen, like it, I listen right? to shows and I watch shows and I. Of course, yeah. You listen to Fox News. You listen to Jesse Waters. Tell you it's gonna go to the Supreme Court. Jesse, Jesse Waters. He's the greatest source. The greatest source. Can I add yeah. up someone who's MAGA, Gary, by the way? You only listen to MSNBC. I don't know. Absolutely not. We're we're up here so, telling you facts so of the case what, that you're trying to discuss. So obviously, it's not just MSNBC that we're talking from. I mean, come on, Harry. Do you listen to any conservative news cast? Yeah, I, I Dude, unfortunately Connor. listen to Fox News quite often. I read Fox News quite often as well. I read like the New York Times and Fox News and outlets every single day. I also, we also debate Trump don't... supporters every yeah, day. So I was, we're I was constantly th hearing the bullshit from the right all the time. I was like, about I to say I literally, that. I engage with people on the right more than so I me, engage me, with people on the left. This. Why weren't Why weren't they allowed to bring on the expert? of the um they expert. were they were allowed to bring on the they expert. were they, they were what the what the expert couldn't testify to is what the law is because you can't have competing experts in court why couldn't you testify to what the law is what's the competing experts that's Dude, the that's, judges listen, that's listen. the judge's job yeah the this judge's is like... job is to like inform the jury of what the law is it's not the witness's job to inform the jury of what the law is so it, it's judge Mashan whose daughter is a campaign can, okay, you, can I, you point wait. to wait wait hold on can you point to any specific moment in the trial where judge Mashan acted improperly just one no, but that's not that's not my point. Exa but, okay, but, but, so but, all right, so you can think he's biased. You can think he's biased based on a donation, which is nonsense. But you can think he's biased. But if you can't point to any improper behavior, then he didn't act you improperly. Well, party. Connor, Connor, it's nonsense. The two so, things you just said, anybody, with, nonsense, yeah. Connor, anybody with a law degree, anybody with a law degree, the two things you just said would have laughed out loud. Number one, of course, of course, no witness. Basic law 101, the witness is not interpreting the law. That's what the judge is there for. If they allow the FEC witness to interpret the law, then the prosecution could have brought a, a different FEC witness to interpret the law differently, and that does nothing but confuse the jury. So that's law 101. And then the second law 101 is any judge knows that if uh, Trump makes an appeal and says, oh, the, the judge's daughter is like doing something for Democrats, that holds no weight. There's 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 no uh, legal bound to say, oh, uh, the judge should have to recuse himself because of what his daughter does. We don't even know if he talks to his daughter. We don't know if he has a relationship with his daughter. His daughter's like 40 years old. That's just what like about, a, what about that, his what about recusing himself because of that, his own donation? Yeah. So why had, would he why would he recuse himself? Like, can you uh, again, it goes to the central question of can you point to us to a moment where he acted improperly? I mean, anything. I, no, not specifically, but I, okay. I think, so he had a flawless was, case. Then we agree. Great. He acted very well throughout the entire trial, um, almost perfectly. And 
there's no reason to attack the judge in this case. Your guy had the opportunity to defend himself in court. There was a jury of New Yorkers who were picked by both sides, both Trump's lawyers and the prosecution. And even according to Trump's own lawyer, Trump helped. Todd Blanche said that on Fox News the day of the conviction. Um, so unless you think that the trial was intentionally rigged against them, then the case was fair. And Donald Trump's now a convicted felon. And you're pr supporting that guy. I, I, you know, I'm going to add another I, I, MAGA. I think the majority of Americans look at this crime and think it's not a big deal at all. Well, of course you don't think it's a big deal because his name is Donald Trump. No, I'm not a big Trump guy. I, I would have loved Ron DeSantis. I would have loved Nikki Haley. I didn't want Trump. But you don't have to be a big Trump guy. You're clearly ignoring um, him breaking the law. You, you don't understand what it is. And you just think, oh, I'm not going to take the time to understand what it is. I'm just going to say into, it's no big if, deal. If we looked into every federal politician in the country, how many of them would come back with a felony charge? Again, really you're just, I, you can't we, you can't just – <laughs> but that's like, like, it's okay, such, let's pick it's a politician such, yeah. out of Congress and look into it's that. It's such a crazy logical fallacy. Like you are pivoting so hard. You can't start with the case is bullshit, and then when you get grilled because you don't I know, be like, "Well, everyone's bullshit. committing laws. Everyone's committing laws." So I don't you, you, laws you insinuated it should be a felony. You insinuate a misdemeanor. In state you don't law. think, dude? Do why would it not be a felony if he was doing Wait, it? Give with us any source to... that indicates that, Connor. Yeah. You want to go start going through my safari right now? Come on. Go ahead. Yeah, seriously. I'm actually sure, serious. Yeah. Give me any source that indicates that. I've yet for someone to provide me a single source. 50% of Americans thinks it shouldn't have been brought to trial. I don't give a shit if 50% okay, of Americans percent, could think that murder they, should be fine. And yeah, like, I don't what, think 50% of Americans shit. have a fucking law degree. Like, who are you to say? Yeah, seriously. You just, like, you, you, just, you, <laughs> dude, you haven't even, you clearly haven't read any of the case and you're just up here. I feel like it shouldn't be a felony. I feel like it. There are tons, there are tons of constitutional lawyers who have come out. Name one. Name one. Name one. And don't, and their can't, their names can't be Jonathan Turley. Name one. I don't know if you know Jonathan who Turley. <laughs> nice. I did that. Yeah, no, that guy. That guy's oh, a lunatic. By the way, He's just like a right wing lawyer. He just no, kind of goes honestly, on Fox News. All respect to you guys. You guys have a ton of. I mean, you guys get a ton of fucking press. I, I don't know if I can swear. You guys get a ton of mentions on Twitter. You get a lot of Harry. You just on CNN. I do have a ton of respect for you guys. I just completely disagree with everything you talk about. Dershowitz. Yeah, law on the way. Yeah, Dershowitz. Wait, so you uh, only respect what we have to say because of the mentions? No, I just think it's impressive that you guys are so young and you've made such a platform on social media and out there in the political spe like sphere. Okay, sure. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Man. I mean, we, we would, so, uh, we would, I, we appreciate that number one, and we would appreciate it even more if you weren't, you know, supporting a sexual abuser. But then that, when that's the case, the bar is a little bit lower as to what is good. Okay, so sexual abuser, okay, maybe not found liable of sexual abuse. Or, I mean, Joe Biden, the diary from his daughter, come on. The diary has never been verified, the contents have never been verified. Okay, there's tons of accusations against Trump that have never been verified. Some have. I'm not bringing up an accusation against Trump that hasn't been verified. I didn't. I'm mentioning one accusation against him that was proven in court, which means it's no longer an accusation. Okay, I mean, I I don't think Biden is the most clean cut guy on the planet either. I think Trump is a sleaze bag. I'll completely agree with you there. I think he's a womanizer, 100. percent Yeah, I mean, you don't have to think that Biden's like the most clean cut person in the world. We're not saying like you have to think that Biden's perfect. But what we're saying is that Biden has not been found liable for sexually abusing a woman. So. Maybe, maybe just based on that basic principle of I, I hope you think that's wrong, you wouldn't be supporting somebody who does that and then like brags about doing it on audio and then to this day like insults his victim. I mean, he has been <laughs> nearly found guilty, but determined to be too old and senile to be that's charged. That's not, not that's true. Not, that's that is not true. Connor, you, you're misinterpreting Dude, that willfully. You're, this is, this because... is what happens when you just go on Reddit and look up like <laughs> Republican and you just read every fucking headline. I know, headline. seriously, bro. This is just like, if, if one you headline at a report, time. Yeah. If, if you can read yeah, the report, yeah. it just says that he's a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory relating to these events, which I would have a poor memory in describing to you the events of me debating someone yesterday or earlier today. That doesn't mean that I'm And wait, by the way, by the way, he wasn't even describing him as a man with poor memory. He's like, this is the defense we think he's going to put up at trial, which we, we yeah, could not overcome. And that's so he's like, yeah, we like, and, and the reason he said poor memory had nothing to do with Biden's age. He didn't mention his age once. It's because a lot of the events in question took place five, 10, 15 years ago. And if I asked you like, Hey, what did you do on that day? You thought was relatively ins insignificant. Like eight years ago, you'd be like, I don't know, just like anybody would be. So Joe Biden's like, yeah, you're asking me about documents that were brought to my house without my knowledge, like seven years ago. Yeah. I, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. And, and even Robert Burr himself described Biden as having a photographic memory. That's what the prosecutor said, who you're you know, pretending he, to cite right now. He forgot when Bo died. He did not know. Actually, that's not true. He mentioned the exact day to a day. But bro, when Bo it's, died. It's in the, so why won't they report the, the tapes or release the tapes? The transcripts are already out. You don't need the tapes. You can go read the all the transcripts right now. Oh, come on. We listen to the guy talk every single Con day. Connor, you know, Connor, I also, why would Connor, you need the tapes? They exist. 
It's not Connor, terrible. I, it's, I, Connor, Connor, I also think it's important to mention that uh, Joe Biden had executive authority to redact any part of the her report before it came out. In fact, him and his team saw it. They saw the comment about the old age with the, with the memory, and he could have redacted it, and no one would have ever known, but he didn't, and he released it. So there's not like this giant conspiracy to hide things from you. And again, this this obsession, this idea that you can say, oh, he forgot when his son died. You mean the son, you mean Bo Biden, the one who went to Iraq, came back, had brain cancer because he, he got brain cancer from the fumes in Iraq. Bo Biden, the one in the back of the car that months after he first uh, won Senate, 35 years old, his wife and his nine month old child were in the front seat. They got in a car accident and died. Bo Biden was in the back seat, severely injured, and Hunter Biden was in the back seat, severely injured. Like, you, you can't possibly create a defense that Joe Biden is somehow this like evil, terrible guy. No, when no, Donald, no. when, hold on, when, when, again, as we're talking about up here, Donald Trump's being found liable for sexual abuse, bragging about it on audio. He's a playboy billionaire. He tried to overturn an election. He's a convicted felon. He's committing business fraud. I don't think you could possibly sit up here and compare Joe Biden to the man who said, oh, when you're this rich and famous, you can grab him by the blank you don't even have to ask no you again I'm, I'm not really going to defend trump as a person um i'm going to vote for him because i think he's the uh, just policy wise he's the better candidate but that's and why are all your critiques related to joe biden related to his personality yeah right or his characteristics well, I, his I think it's wait i think it's wait you were talking about his cognitive capacities were you not that's not his personality that's his cognitive that is, that is a that personality like characteristic a you were also calling him a sleazebag. Yeah, you were saying like, yeah, I don't think I don't think Joe Biden's like pure or anything like that. You're really going yeah, yeah, like, well, you cognitive I capacity is a characteristic, a personality characteristic. No, it's not a personality. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. His cognitive ability is not a personality trait or characteristic. Yes, it absolutely he say, is. He didn't say. He also didn't say trade, but you know. yeah, it's and, a, it's absolutely and, characteristic. Characteristic and uh, damn near synonymous. And for the record, you also just said I'm voting for Not Joe. Really. I'm voting for Donald Trump based on his policy. Can you name a single piece of legislation he passed through Congress in his four-year presidency? Yeah, the border bills, the border, oh, the executive no, order. Like, do- that's not, that's not a, that's, first of all, that doesn't exist and that executive wasn't passed order. through Congress. Executive try try, try again. Not, not an exact, dude, his two biggest successes are two massive, pe- massive pieces of legislation passed through Congress that I know about. If you're voting for him because of policy and not because he's a piece of shit, then tell me what that legislation was. It was his two biggest accomplishments. I don't need to tell you his legislation. Oh, are... my God. Come on, man. If you're going to see his better policy, then you have to be able to name what he actually did as president. Like, we, we all can name bill. five separate policies on Joe Biden. But if you can't name, like, policies you, of Trump is, that he got passed through Congress. Job. I can know what he stands for and not – I don't need to know his legislation. Wait, hold on. This is – first of all, you know, first of all it doesn't take a lot to anymore. know policy that was passed, right? We're not asking you to, like, solve you Albert Einstein's equations right now. Long. I, I don't need to know his legislation and know what he stands for and know what he's going to – You don't know a single one. You don't have to do so, this full time to know a single fucking one. Yeah, you, we're, we also just ask you for one, right? We're not asking you for like twenty. We're asking you just for one policy. So it's 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 an, it's it's frustrating to us that when you're like voting for a guy who is a sexual abuser, convicted felon, tried to overturn an election he didn't win, it's like attacking our democracy daily. That you just hide behind like, yeah, I just think his policies are better, but you don't name any policy. That's incredibly frustrating. No, you asked for legislation. It, it's ba- it's baseless actually. Policy or legislation? Yeah. Right. No, it's it's, it's actually say what policy. It's Connor, policy. Connor, it's actually baseless. You have no argumentation as it relates to characteristics that they have, personality, right? And then you have no characteristics you can mention as it relates to policy. So Guys, what is I, the argument based on? Can I give you a newsflash? The majority of Americans don't even know about um, about politics as much as Why I do. Why do you think we do this all day, Connor? Why do you think we're up here with like 5.2 thousand? I can't see up the top. Why do you think we do this? Why do you think because, we sit in front of a camp? Because we're passionate about more people knowing. Because America has the lowest rates of voting in the entire America world. America doesn't have you think, time to know politics like oh, you guys do. Dude, we're not we asking don't. you. We're not asking you to be loser nerds and just look at a computer all day and like invest your time in politics. You no, we're, no, no, Connor, Connor, yeah. we know, Connor. We yeah, know, actually. Yeah, we know we're weird. Yeah. We know we're weird. We get that. What we're asking you is like, hey, if you're going to vote for Donald Trump, can you just know like one plan he has for America in 2025? I know you don't know that because I don't know that because he like really hasn't given any competent answers on that. I just. Yeah, wait, can like, like I'm what, not, what, what are I'm, his. Sorry, Chris. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. no, it's OK. I'm just I'm just like it's just like this idea that, oh, most Americans don't care. Yeah, that's the whole fucking reason we do this, because we care and we want more people to care about where their country's headed. So. You said he has better policy positions than Biden. Can you name me, like, like what's your top issue that you're voting on? Or, like, top three, and I'll pick one of your issues you're voting on in 2020. Sure. Let's go for the border, and, and you're going to say the border bill, and the Republicans shot it down. The border bill is – that's not the border bill we're looking for. It's not strong enough. 
Okay, I'm, I'm, for a complete, what, stri- or complete okay, shutdown. Would what, you rather so have this or Donald Trump's? What's Donald Trump's policy proposal? I would rather have border. Biden use executive order to shut down the border completely. Wait, which he, he, but, but that's going to get Donald shut down Trump by the Trump courts did. anyway. That's one thing, too, it as it relates Trump, to this. Trump shut it down. Trump used executive order. Trump did not shut down the border. But he used Connor, executive Connor, orders on the border. What is Trump's policy for the border if he would Connor, Connor wait, Trump's executive, executive order? Wait, which executive Trump order specifically the caused there to be less Again, people coming to the country? I'm not going to tell you the exact executive order. Yeah, that's because that's, that's because the, the, the executive order you're referring to that's similar to asylum seekers also asylum seekers also got shot down by the courts. It remained in legal. Mexico. There you go. Thank you, Miranda, for the five dollars. Yeah, remained in Mexico didn't exist under Obama yet. There was less people coming to the country. So how could it explain more people coming to the country that this does not exist now if it didn't exist under Obama and there were less people? Thank you, Mary, for the three dollars in cash. I appreciate. The number of people coming to the country has gotten progressively worse over the years. Obama was president. Based upon what? Based on what? You're saying it's caused by the remaining the Mexico border policy not being there. But, but if it didn't exist under Obama then and there was less people, how could it be the cause? Who can who under which president do more people come across the border? Biden or Trump? Biden. Yeah, but, we're, but Biden. do you think that more people Would came across the border or coming to the border because of Biden? The country from the FBI watch list that came through the country. These are all pivots. He's pivoting wait, away I'm, from explaining wait, wait, why there's more people coming into the country. He said it was the Remain in Mexico border policy. But again, if it did not exist under Obama's administration, there was less people coming. That could not possibly be the Parker, explanation. Parker, Biden's first day in office, he undid the executive orders that Trump had in place. That's a fact. Which executive orders were relevant in doing this in, 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 in Parker, limiting the amount of people? Parker, I don't need to know the exact executive order to know he opened up the border on the three. I can also just ask you, what's the relevant difference between Obama's administration and and uh, and uh, Biden's administration as it relates to immigration policy? That means that there's more people coming now and less people coming then, because if you can't identify the difference in terms of policy, that tells us that it's likely external causes, whether it be political pressures and inflation, plenty of things that are not related to the president of the United States. Oh my God. Yeah, I actually think I actually do think it's really important to be able to name those executive orders because Remain in Mexico, for example, only applied to a total of roughly 60,000 people under the Trump administration that we quote unquote sent back a bunch of people like most people crossing the border weren't didn't even fall into this category. It was incredibly niche. It was a humanitarian disaster. Get rid of it. All the other executive orders that Biden dismantled were like either barely in place, being reviewed, also incredibly niche or like uh, f- extra funding for the border wall that like wasn't getting done or raised. So like, again, if if we look at all these numbers and we see that Joe Biden's removal percentage uh, in terms of people coming in the border, like uh, or coming through the border, he has a similar removal percentage to Donald Trump. He removes about the exact same amount of people slightly higher. And so again, what that's suggesting is, hey, no real policy has changed. Like if Joe Biden opened the border by erasing this policy, we should see people coming through. And then when Border, border Patrol encounters them, they, the removal percentage should be lower because they're just letting them go, but they're not. So as Parker's saying, there's probably like an external factor. Like we've seen a big quantity, a large, large quantity of people for other reasons. Again, I, I'm not going to be able to give you guys exact legislation, but I did want to ask you one more question before I go. Why does the Biden-Harris campaign continue to pump out numbers of the amount of jobs created when they use, when in reality so many jobs were lost during COVID? He's just using the numbers that he gained back after the pandemic ended. Yeah, so you have no, you have like a, you don't understand basic economics. Obviously, like when there's a recessionary period, uh, the economy is like a little donut. And you, when the economy is like a little donut, and the government's job is to stimulate the economy. In 2009, we passed an $830 billion recovery act, and that led to 72 straight months of private job sector growth, but it was incredibly slow because the US government actually didn't, uh, it, stimulate the economy enough. That's what we learned from the economic numbers. And so I actually would credit Joe Biden with like 16 million jobs gained because he had the experience along with his administration to say, hey, uh, it would actually be better for us to stimulate the economy in these ways very aggressively and risk a little bit of inflation as opposed to not stimulating it enough or not doing anything and risking this massive recession. In fact, Joe Biden and his stimulus bills and a lot of these economic packages are the exact reason why so many people are going back to work. Because when you're funneling money to small business, uh, government, education and like a last round of stimulus checks you're giving businesses the ability to hire people back because they're making money so yeah I, which I think is it's... one of the reasons we had the, one of the best recoveries post covid out of any developed nation in the world one of the best ones that doesn't really answer my question they're continuing to pump out numbers from jobs that were just gained back after people went back to work well and actually even if you look at they're also even if you fact... Trump saying he lost Basically, his numbers, the unemployment rate was so high during Trump, but it was actually during the pandemic. I mean, every country in the world was facing high unemployment numbers. Even if you factor out all Wait, the jobs. now you're identifying every country in the world. So same thing with inflation. And you're also identifying that if we compare us to other nations around the world and we have a better recovery than all of them, that there's something specifically that we did that was unique here that made us recover faster than all the other developed nations around the world. Now, what could it be possibly? 
Well, you guys get mad at me for pivoting, isn't that? A, that's a that's great not pivot. a pivot. That's a good, that's <laughs> right direct on what you just said. Well, that's pivot. <laughs> Was it a pivot? What did I pivot from? <laughs> you pivoted from. Oh my God! You pivoted from job numbers to inflation. That's a pivot. No, no, I was giving an analogy and I wrapped it back into the job numbers and how we specifically yeah, explain it here. I don't need to argue what a pivot is and not. Anyway, guys, I got to go. A lot of respect to you guys. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep trying. All right. Thanks, Connor. Have a good night. Appreciate it. Cody, are you voting Trump? Uh, yes, I am. I, can, I, can we talk about the um, border bipartisan bill? Yeah. So you said that um, Trump wasn't for it and I agree with him for it because – I remember seeing, I'm not as into politics as many of you are. That's why I actually watch your lives, because I like to see what the other side has to say. Cool. Um, I saw that a lot of the money in the bipartisan bill was to be spent for foreign countries in the foreign wars, to Ukraine war, Israel. So that's why I believe Trump didn't want them to pass it, because a lot of this money was going to nonsense, and there was these little like 400,000 payments that were going to these trans youth groups across the country. So I understand why he didn't want it to be passed because it was going to a bunch of nonsense and not actually for the border. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, except that's not why Trump himself said he opposed it. He never mentioned like tra I, what trans groups, by the way, I don't know what that means. Um, but Trump himself was like, yeah, I think it, it's like an open border policy. He never mentioned anything about like money going somewhere else. Um, he was saying like it, it's not enough on immigration. So, And also no, the, but... same, the same Senate, like there was multiple Republicans who were like, we don't want to vote for it because of aid. Those same Republicans less than 12 hours later, like pretty much in the pitch black, uh, voted through the exact same aid untouched. They just removed the border provisions and it like overwhelmingly passed. It's just they didn't talk about that because they knew that like – People would think they're conning them because they are conning people. Yeah, no, but I mean, I believe that some of the money that they wanted to spend for the border bill was very unnecessary because there were trans youth groups that they wanted to fund. I don't understand the point of that. If it's a border bill and they want to put money towards these trans youth groups across America, that makes zero sense. <sighs> Thank you, Amy, sense. for the dollar thirty four oh cash app. Oh, my God. In Congress, they get other people who support other things to – give them incentives to vote for the bill in order to get it passed and also what specifically are you referencing sense. in it yeah what trans youth groups are yeah, you talking like, about i saw something it was like in one of the senator's districts she wanted to make a like wait in a senator's district is not the same as a as a the congressional federal district that's what i meant my bad okay. okay it was this one congress lady and she wanted to have four hundred twenty-five thousand dollars sent to a youth group in her district, which I think makes zero sense because it's a okay. mental illness. Um, well, to be well, that literally plays in gender. Wait, okay, no, no, that's a hold on. Hold on. Yes, it is. Wait, 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 before, wait, wait, wait. Before we go into that, you literally just proved Parker's point that a representative wanted this funding to go to a group in order to incentivize her to vote for it. So they're like, on "Yeah, we'll put this into the bill." By the way, we have no idea if what you're saying is true, but. Theoretically, if it is, you might incentivize this representative to vote for it based on added funding to the bill specifically for their district. Um, so that's how Congress works. That's you make deals. I'm not sure if you're familiar, but what the fuck did you just say? Plus, that's a complete lie. In the DSM, it does not list being group trans group as a, a mental age. illness. That's a lie. Yeah, you're, you're, you're lying. Gender dysphoria and being trans are two separate things. There are cis so, individuals who are not trans that have gender dysphoria. So you can be born a male and then you think you're not born into the right body and then you think you're a woman? It's so there, not are how it works. there are individuals who are male, right, where their, their brain, right, is incongruent with their body, right? The, the same way that there are women, cis women in this country, right, that, that want to do particular things to their body, right, to be in accordance with their gender affirmation, right? Like someone might have developmental issues as it relates to their breasts, right, and they might get right? Some sort of uh, enlargement, right? So that they can have gender affirming care. No, that's just both. That's, ju that's still I mean, gender okay. affirming. To it's be transgender crap, at a youth, at a youth age. That's just, you can't, that's not even how you make your decision. That's just people putting woke crap. ideology into people. What do you mean woke ideology into people? 
people just act this way, right? No one why put it into the, them. Why wasn't this happening a hundred years ago? It did. It, it was just like, uh, like, like plenty of other things throughout society. It was stigmatized to a greater extent and it wasn't talked about. We have, we have social media and the internet now. I can talk to people around the world, right? Many of us don't even know trans people in, 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 in person, right? We hear about these things on the internet. Or no. So this is what I'm confused about. I don't know if you saw this, but the Los Angeles City Council, they took down no U-turn signs in a gay neighborhood because they thought it was homophobic. How dude, does that? Are you following? Are you following, are you following dude? Are you following? How, how dude? Are you following end wokeness on Twitter? You got to get off uh, Twitter, dude. No, it's, I'm not on X. It's called X, but I'm not on. It's it. called X, Chris. Chris, it's right, called Chris. X, buddy. You gotta, you gotta get dude, it right, dude. Like, like, yeah, you don't like, get it right, like, I'm gonna freak this out. This is like the most like. This is like the daily and, type of stuff. No, you I'm not finished talking. And this was on ABC Seven News. So, um, this wasn't on wait, Twitter. Okay, so wait. Okay, yeah. So let's let's just actually read the the actual facts. Um, this is this is from All Sides. It's like a fact checking website. And it says city council members gathered this week in a, a posh L.A. neighborhood to remove a no U-turn sign that they say were part of the area's homophobic history. In 1997, signs that conveyed messages like no cruising, no U-turns, midnight to 6 a.m. were posted throughout the Silver Lake, Silver Lake neighborhood in an effort to curtail hookups among gay men. So these signs were not just like they're not just like, oh, no, no U-turn signs. They offend us now. They were put there with a very deliberate reason uh, in this very specific area to target their LGBTQ plus residents. And now, interesting that you leave absurd. out that context. Yeah, you just kind of leave out the context as to why they're saying they're doing it. Um, if it was done with homophobic intent, don't you think that they might want to reform that? I, I don't know. It's a no U-turn sign. How is I? It just dude, you, it sounds like it sounds like you're being, a, it sounds like you're being a snowflake, Literally, dude. No. It sounds like you're being a snowflake. Why do you give a fuck? There's so many issues up here in America right now, and if a community wants to take down a sign that has is a problem for them historically, being homophobic. All right, so then let's talk about the issues. How about we talk about all? You're the, the one. Not, you're the one talking about America. I'm talking about stupid mental illnesses that wow. are going on in America, which is also oh an what, issue. Uh, wait, classified under what? It's a mental How do you classify illness. mental illness? Do you use the DSM-5? It's a mental illness to be How do you classify mental illnesses? This what defines it? Get kicked, dude. Kick me, yeah, because that's all no, you do. No, I'm not going to kick you. People. TikTok is – yeah, they're, they're, big tech is silencing. Shut the fuck. Yeah, it's just how you silence. And people them. needed oh, to know no. that the no, U-turn no, – no, They were literally on my second account. account. They, they, account. Account. they were taking down the street U-turn, and now it's going to – Nobody's going to take – wait, nobody's going to take you down. You're going to get taken down by TikTok. That's what I was going to say, but then you decided to jump in saying, yeah, you're going to silence me. Nobody's silencing you, buddy. You don't have a right to free speech in here. Your First Amendment right does not protect you from me. It protects you from the government. Now, anyway, continue. What was I saying before you all inter interrupted? I don't me? know something dumb. And what was that? Was dumb. I I don't know. I don't I don't speak that. So. All right, but also another one of my um key importance for me is um like world peace, and I just don't see a lot of that happening under the Biden administration. Ah, you see it's happening under Trump, right? So when Trump increased drone strikes four hundred and fifty percent in the Middle East, that's world peace. When Donald Trump allowed eighty five thousand kids in Yemen to starve because of a continuation in U.S. policy toward Yemen, that's world and peace. That when Donald Trump allowed, wait, ISIS I'm not done yet. When Donald Trump sir. allowed a bunch of uh, the Kurds who were allies with to be to be slaughtered by Turkish forces, that's that's peace, right? When Iran attacked American troops in the Middle East, one hundred nine soldiers got traumatic brain, brain injuries, that's peace, right? And there's a lot more people dying under the Biden. Well, hold on now. You I said mean, that there's Ukraine peace under Trump. Israel. You said yeah, that there's there peace was. under Trump. There was no new wars. Wait, Not and how is how is perfect. how is Joe Biden? Wait, are you saying that Joe Biden's responsible for the war in the Middle East and Russia and Ukraine? I don't think it would happen under Trump. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so do you think that this FDR is responsible for World War Two? You think FDR is responsible for World War Two? Do you think Woodrow Wilson's responsible for World War One? It wouldn't have happened if their opponent had won. Um, I don't know. I don't. I didn't follow politics all the way back then. I've only gone. To <laughs> hey, I, neither did we. We weren't alive to follow years. politics. We I've like open to history. We we open to history years. book. It's what you do. But well, so wait, well, you're assuming uh, that he ever did that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. So yeah, they're literally uh, trying to okay. deny history. They're trying to the CRT is so bad, it, even though it's not even CRT. Uh, trying to take get rid of history. Only patriotic American history. Only that. Yeah. So we, wait, we have if to make you, the slave owners you, look good. If you don't think that like uh, uh, FDR was responsible for World War II starting, which would be an insane take, then why do you think that like Joe Biden's responsible for Ukraine starting? Because he's weak. Nobody respects really? him. 
It, really? No, is that true. why is that why like Joe Biden united 50 Western countries who very much respect him against you, Russia, and they funded Ukraine? And the only reason that Kiev is still standing is because of Joe Biden and these why countries coming together? Why is this taking so long, though, if NATO is funding Ukraine oh, versus why, one why, country, Russia? Right, did, OK, I, just re, think about your question for a second. Why is it taking so long? Just think about why think is it about, taking like, so long to come to a peace agreement. That's what I'm saying, because you're dealing with a murderous dictator who is not interested in peace. There could be peace right now right now if russia just pulled out all their troops but they're not going to do that right so how do you how do you negotiate with a murderous dictator who's trying to unalive every single person in ukraine well it might be a tough task given that they've tried and they failed people from different countries have tried and failed i want world peace but stigmatize trans people i want world peace but put trump in office one of the most divisive american presidents throughout history i want peace really yeah, I do believe on Trump. <laughs> Cody, Cody, Trump. I think I think people I, respected him. Yeah, it, Cody, it was, actually, who, you're right. Who, who actually, respected Cody, him? Wait, wait, wait. Who respected country, him? The first president to go into North Korean oh. soil. So what? It changed wait, nothing. Who respected him? The the the, the uh, uh, Kim Jong Un didn't respect him. Uh, Putin doesn't respect him. Right? Our allies really, don't respect did, him. Who respects anybody? Donald Trump? But his cult-like members. Wait. Who? Cody, Cody, if if if. If Putin respected Donald Trump so much, then why didn't he give Ukraine Crimea back when Trump was in office? They illegally annexed because Crimea in 2014. Because that was something that happened during the Obama administration. Oh, so they don't That's respect him enough. During... They don't respect him enough to now give okay, Crimea and that back? Happened during if he respects Obama's him, why did Putin mock him? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if he and respects if he, him, why he... did Putin and Assad mock him? Yeah, and, 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 and Donald Trump's own national security advisor confirmed that happened. Does. Wait, I also just feel like the easiest way to talk about this, Cody, is um, first president ever, ever. 40 of his 44 cabinet members are not endorsing him. We'll just, I, I put together a couple quotes that I just found. These are like not nearly as many as uh, act, that actually exists, but I'll read a couple. Uh, and you tell me if this sounds like respect. James Mattis, Donald Trump's former defense secretary, quote, Donald Trump is the first president of my lifetime who does not try to unite the American people, does not even pretend to try. Instead, he tries to divide us. We are witnessing the consequences of three years of his deliberate effort. effort. Alyssa Griffin, Donald Trump's former White House communications director, quote, fundamentally, a second Trump term could mean the end of American democracy as we know it. And I don't say that lightly. John Kelly, Donald Trump's former chief of staff, quote, he's a person who admires autocrats and murderous dictators, has nothing but contempt for our democratic institutions, our constitution in the rule of law. Mark Esper, Donald Trump's former defense secretary, quote, there's no way I'll vote for Trump, but every day that Trump does something crazy, the door to voting for Biden opens a little more. That's where I'm at. He's a threat to democracy. Sarah Matthews, a former Trump aide, quote, the American people should listen to what these folks are saying because it should be alarming that the people that Trump hired to work for him a first term are saying he's unfit to serve for a second term. These are folks who saw him up close and personal and saw his leadership style. Mike Pence, Donald Trump's vice president, I believe that anyone that puts themselves over the Constitution should never be a president of the United States and anyone who asks someone else to put them over the Constitution should never be the president of the United States again. I cannot in good conscience endorse Donald Trump in this campaign. I could go on. I could talk about General Milley, one of the most respected top generals in U.S. politics, has served under multiple administrations, who talked about how he was so scared under the Trump administration in the final days that he would go off the walls and strike Iran, that he installed a light in his shower that would blink because he was so scared that at any given moment he would miss it. So if the light stopped blinking, he knew something was wrong. He was so stressed out he was trying to see if it was constitutional for him to go around donald trump to make sure that he didn't have the codes to the nuclear bombs this is like one of the most respected respect to people in politics john bolton was on cnn three weeks ago talking about how biden was a quote national embarrassment but also said that when he traveled with uh, trump on these g7 meetings uh that he was the first time ever he was scared to let a president in a room alone with putin or any of our allies because he was so incompetent he'd give up classified information all of those quotes that's Which never happened, happened under way. It, yeah, all of those quotes that has never happened ever in American history, and there's not a single person in the Biden admin currently who said that Biden's not fit. So explain to me that why his handpicked chief of staff, his former defense secretaries, aides who worked right next to him every single day, dedicated their lives to the America First movement, Chris left May the White House. And they're screaming at no. you to not vote for Trump. Explain to me why. Are they all just dumb? They don't know what they're doing? Well, um, I mean, Trump's never been a politician before, so maybe he could have picked a lot of wrong cabinet members. That's right. That's right. That's I right. The most that's, that's right. True. So he's yep. unqualified. But Trump that's said right. he picks the best people. He said he hires the best people. So he's unqualified. He's I mean, lying. He tries to, but this is the first time he's ever been a politician. So he's unfit. So he's unfit, right? Well, oh, 
you want to talk he's about obviously unfit. Incoherent. So he's, he's unqualified, right? To go no, 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 no. Hold on now. Hold on now. Engage. He's, he's unqualified, right? If he unfit. can't pick the right people to do like very important jobs, Trump's unqualified, unqualified right? to appoint cabinet members. <laughs> yeah, if he's if he's unqualified to do like the first thing that a president elect does, like making their and cabinet, then why do you think he's qualified to have the nuclear codes? Now. Cody, Cody, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of, no, it's kind of, Chris, it's, hold up, hold up, no, no, it's, hold on, hold on, no, it's kind of, no, 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 because I, I need to understand talking. the logic. I'm going to let no, you no, speak. No, no, I'm going to no. let you speak. I'm going to let you speak, but I kind of, I don't understand the logic. How could you say like in 2016, maybe you weren't a voting age, I wasn't a voting age, but you say like, oh, we like Trump because he's not a politician. He has no experience. He was a fucking TV movie star. And then when everybody, the most respected people in politics who work right next to him are like, holy shit, guys, he doesn't know anything about foreign policy. He's incompetent. He doesn't know about politics. And you're like, well, yeah, because like he never served before. Yeah, why is that a surprise? Why would that be a surprise? If people voted for him because he has no experience, why would it surprise you that all of the top people are like, hey, guys, he has no fucking experience. He doesn't know what he's doing. Of course, he knows nothing about foreign policy. Isn't that a bad thing? So you were saying how they who was it that had the button in his shower because he said he was so General scared Milley. about General Milley. Yeah. How come? he there was no world war three if he, they were so scared about it what if there was you, no, how, you would, how you would come never dare you would happens? never dare you would never dare look general milley one of the most respected top generals in u.s history who was you appointed think, by trump who was appointed by trump you would okay, never look at you would never so look worried. in his face and say some stupid shit like that i think he probably knows a little bit more than all of us do we have like okay, one of the most so qualified worried, people why, ever why did nothing the, ever happen though if he yeah, was so worried, why yeah, did nothing yeah, ever so happen? Yeah, so Cody, though? Cody, Cody, you should go ask him about the final days of the Trump administration when allies and adversaries were calling us after January 6th and they were being like, should we be worried? Like, is U.S. democracy falling apart? Thing. And Milley had to be like, no, it's 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 fine. So we had to like convince our adversaries, Iran. He had to convince them we weren't going to strike them. And then he was so scared because he because he knew that there was no evidence of voter fraud, like his own chief of staff, attorney general, everybody in the Trump admin was already saying there was no voter fraud. So General Milley was scared that he would try to strike Iran to come up with an excuse to like essentially stay in power, to like uh, just be like, you know, I need to stay in power because there's a war, there's an emergency and and take over, right? So uh, yeah, and also this whole idea that like, why was there never World War III? I don't know, you should, again, like Harry said, ask the over 100 military uh, service members who have traumatic range in injuries after Iran sh uh, struck one of our bases because we almost got in World War III with them because we killed one of their top generals. That was a pretty stressful time. By the way, Cody, I just because also- Because he was a you. terrorist. Yeah, so Cody, Cody, it, like this idea, like it all, obviously, Obviously, all of these things are bad. It, 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 like, we should just not engage in them again. Like, oh, you can't just be like, oh, there wasn't World War III, so it was fine. That's just, that's that's like, what's the word? Speaking of which, Cody, I, I'm happy to announce I've entered you into the Hall of Fame terrible TikTok quotes for if Mark Milley was so worried about what, World War III, why didn't it happen? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you should go over this so list on the election. Everybody give Cody a clap in the chat. He's in the Hall of Fame. Worst TikTok quotes we have. It's It's in there with... Uh, if you're worried about World War Three, well, why didn't it happen? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's so bad. Dude. They were no, but seriously, if they were so worried about a war happening, then why did it never happen? Dude, dude, dude oh down. my God, no way! This is so this is crazy. This is why are you doubling down, bro? Dude, I just you can't. You want to laugh it off because you're not being serious. So bro, wait, 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 think about the point about you're this. making. Think about the point you're making. If they're worried about something, why didn't it happen? Like, are you saying that it's impossible, impossible to be worried that they about the were prospect of something? That something was going to happen. Cody, yeah, they were concerned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were concerned about something happening. So, are you saying it's impossible to be concerned about the prospect of something? That's just so incoherent. No, that's not what I'm saying. You're that's saying that you they were said. convinced. That's literally, what you're saying. That a war was going to mm -hmm. happen, and nothing ever happened. Okay, so again, no, they were blank. convinced a war was likely. Yeah, so they're, it, they're worried about the happening. prospects. It, enough, it didn't end up Cody, happening. Think about, so? fill in the blanks for me here. They're worried about the prospect of a broader war. Is that, are you saying that it's, and, and it didn't happen. So you're saying that they can't be worried about the prospect of a broader war? They can be worried, but then Okay, so then why are you asking this dumb shit point. to me? If Mark Milley was worried about World War Three, why didn't it happen? You're getting upset, Hair Bear? Is that why you're starting you're to getting upset, you're, you're getting upset, Hair Bear? You're getting upset, Hair Bear? You're getting upset. Cody, 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 Cody. I just want to No, it's just I'm like, gonna... it's ridiculous no, it, how it's like, like, ignorant you are. Like, genuinely, genuinely, like, being this...
like out of touch with reality is is annoying. No, it's not even being this out of touch. It's the willful ignorance. That's it what, is willful that's what annoys yeah. me. And like I I catch myself in this all the time, and I see that with Harry as well. Like, it makes sense. Trying to hear from the other point of view. But you're not. No, but it's not just you're hearing the other point of view. It's you're denying reality. You're denying. No, you're denying not. facts. It's you're denying probability. Wait, wait, this will help. This will help. Look, Cody, Cody, back up. Cody, no, 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 no. Back, back up, back up. Look, 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 Cody, Cody, Cody. To Parker's point, you're not engaging. Like engaging the logic here for a second and this goes to parker's point if i just read you a list if 40 of trump's like be honest 40 of trump's 44 cabinet members uh his handpicked chief of staff uh, uh attorney general former you know defense secretaries are saying like holy shit this guy like i work next to him every day really dangerous like uh, doesn't uh, care about the american people threat to democracy like engage with this point why logically would that be happening? Like, uh, you, I know you skimmed over. You were like, oh, we just didn't pick the right people. But honestly, like when, uh, chiefs of staff who dedicate their time to this and then they leave and they're like, oh, God, please don't vote for him. Or, sir, we can't find voter fraud. We can't find voter fraud. Like, I don't know if you think that the 2020 election was stolen, but like all these people uh, we've looked, we look, we can't find voter fraud. Are, like, are we suggesting right now that all these people are what? Dumb? Are they paid off? Do they truly not know what they're doing? And just they're engage. Corrupt. He didn't we'll drain talk the swamp. about the stolen election. Um, wait, wait. But, I but, believe that it's holy been pivot. Stolen. Well, Cody, but, but Cody, just, Cody. No, okay. no, no, well, no, no, no. You brought no, it no. up. Answer so no, no. We, and Cody, we can, we can, no, we can talk about Answer it in a second. We can talk about it. We can talk about the election in a second. But I want to understand in current. In this includes the election as well. And this includes the election as well. If all of these people, forty of his forty-four cabinet members, and his handpicked people, obviously very experienced in politics, a lot of them are like work next to him every day and they say like please don't vote for this guy he's incompetent can you engage on why you truly think that would be happening like does that why does that not concern you and um, not just he picked the wrong he people just wants to help the american people and wants okay there to see, be see this is this is this is what part this is this is this is this is what exactly cody, what cody pause cody pause exactly cody cody pause this was okay, parker this paused. was this was parker's point is you're listening but you're like not engaging that's not a competent response of, oh, he wanted to help the American people. Why did his f multiple former chief of staff say, like, you should not vote for Trump? He was incompetent. It's obviously they wanted to help the American people, too. You would agree with that. So why are they saying it? I don't know. Can you tell me why they were saying that? Because I don't know. Because he, he, I my, he my opinion, lines. my opinion is that all of those people are saying that because he was truly incompetent. My opinion is that a lot of those people, especially like Alyssa Griffin, like young people. And in politics, my opinion is they, that they're puppets. So, so, okay. 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 So they're all fake people. He appointed, they're all puppets, right? So you're saying that he didn't drain the swamp. He actually added to it by adding corrupt individuals, treasonous individuals that stole the election from him. And if they're treasonous, do you think they should be put to death until after, until after the you're January so, 6th, you're so all deep this. in the MAGA cult. Co it's embarrassing. Cody. Like not only you, you just justify everything he does. Anybody who's worked close to Donald Trump and he's like, yeah, actually this guy's a total lunatic. You're like, no, they're automatically deep state. But if they love Donald Trump and they're like, oh, he's amazing. Then you say that they're the best thing ever. You're so entrenched in conspiracy. Never said you just got to get yourself out of the hole and Co come back to reality with everybody else and be like, holy crap. Like the overwhelming majority of people who work with him say that he's incompetent. Sorry, go ahead, Chris. No, no, it's okay. I, I think that like the other like point here is under uh, a lot about the election. When we heard from his chief of staff, his attorney general, the third party source, a lot of his aides who testified under oath, like, yeah, we looked, we couldn't find the evidence. We told him over and over it didn't exist. Other people who testified in, under that were his kids. Uh, in fact, Ivanka's testified under oath, like I told my father, like the election. I, I told my father that like, to listen to these people and that like his idea that the election was stolen was just incorrect. She so are you did does she was she part of the swamp? Did she not understand? Was she wrong and her father's yeah, she's right? A part of the swamp so like I, I like genuinely she, I want to she, she's paid off. She's yeah, paid I, off. You exactly. Know I, mean? I want to understand this. Like if they're all testifying, you've explained all these people I guess that you know, oh they're just bad people. What about his his uh his his family? His daughter, his son who said that yeah, I told him it didn't exist. We looked. Are they wrong? Did they lie under oath? Sorry, I just dazed out. I was just, I don't know. I wasn't focused. Surprising. Hold on, so, can you just repeat? Yeah. So, no, I'm, I'm so, not saying Sure, that. Sure, sure. So, can you so, please just so, repeat sure. it for me? Thank so, you. So when we talked about the 2020 election, a bunch of people testified under oath, his chief of staff, his attorney general, all this stuff. They're like, hey, we looked for this evidence and we told Trump like 100 times we couldn't find it. Like he needed to get, he needed to accept that like there was no election fraud. Uh, these are the people close to him. Some of those people who testified were his kids, including Ivanka, who testified like, "I told my father this didn't exist. I told my father that like he like we've we've looked. It, it's not real. I knew it wasn't real." Do you think Ivanka was wrong, C Cody? 
That's how you, she's, she's paid off. If you, no, no if, you, if you bring a Trump family member in, because that's also okay, part can, of Can I just speak real quick? Yeah. Because this isn't pivoting. This is actually talking about election fraud. Wait, wait, but can you engage there with the Ivanka for a people, point first? Ivanka... There was four people in Connecticut that were charged with stuffing ballot boxes. So do I believe that there was election fraud? Yeah. Do I believe that there was enough stolen votes? No. Votes? No, I believe that Biden did win the election. I believe so you that. disagree. What was their what political Trump affiliation? Was... What? What was their political affiliation? Who, the ballot stuffers? The yeah, it was also not the presidential the election. Boxes. This happened in 2019. It was for a mayoral contest. Yeah, I know. But if this was <laughs> happening, this means that this could have happened. In <laughs> Wait, Cody, Co you understand? First of all, everywhere. it was happening. It was happening, and they were caught. Second I know of all, that. if, if you're, if, that. wait, 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 wait. If your standpoint, I know that, that Chris. I know. Then, if you're, you're Cody, Cody, you speak. You're Cody, just speaking wait, over me because I'm not It's because you're not, dude. Yet. You're not engaging. Like, first of all, first of all, uh, it's important to mention that, like, uh, if here, your here, Chris, if you should let him make an incoherent point real quick. Oh God. <laughs> no, if this if there was election fraud in other places, that doesn't mean that it couldn't have not happened in the 2020 election, which I do believe it did happen because but, there was votes just coming out of random counties in New Jersey oh and Edison County in the 2021 governor race out of nowhere at 2 a.m. in the Edison County, 20,000 nice. votes for Murphy Cody, out of Co nowhere at 2 a.m. That just Cody, doesn't make Cody, sense. Can I, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? This you just said that like votes were stolen, but not enough. Like Biden legitimately won. That's what you said. Like there was some ballot stuffing, but like it wasn't enough to like influence the election. Is that kind of what you said? Yeah. So you Males disagree. So, at 2 so, so, so you disagree with, so you Still disagree. Still election fraud. Okay, wait, wait, Cody. So you disagree with Trump though? Because Trump believes that there was enough, uh, enough ballots that like it flipped the election. So you're saying you disagree with Trump on this? No, I do believe. No, 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 no. Was... You, you're disagreeing with Trump. If you think that there's no, that there was enough ballots to flip the election, you are disagreeing with Donald Trump. Is that correct? Yeah, I don't agree with him on. Everything. Okay, so then that would also suggest if you acknowledge that Trump is wrong and that there isn't enough evidence for that, then um, the only logical conclusion I can come to is that you're also agreeing that Trump clearly doesn't care about the will of the American people or what actually happens. He cares more about staying in power. Why would he need to be in power if he? Well, I don't know, Cody. Explain, ex then explain to me. Fine. Pause. Then explain to me. Then explain to me dollars, why. why then explain, he Cody. The then then explain. To, then then explain to me. You just agreed that Biden won with the will of the people. Why does Trump not believe the will of the people? You just said he was wrong. I don't know. I I don't know the mind of Donald Trump. I don't think a lot of okay. people do and, either. And, and we also let's we vote also, for people that undermine also, American democracy. Yep. We also great, just kind of scoot, we also just kind of scooted by the whole like Ivanka disagree, like saying there was no voter fraud like and and she told her father it didn't exist. Was, was she wrong? I don't know. I don't remember her saying that. She she like here. I'll, I'll, jog, I'll jog. I'll jog. your I'll jog your memory. Okay, she testified. Me she testified. I've never heard yeah, about you. It. Yeah, you never heard about it because it was all over all the regular news and the regular people, and not on like the weird cult bullshit. So when all of Trump's uh, the, uh like people in his cabinet and his kids testified to like, hey, we looked over and over for election fraud and couldn't find it. His attorney general, chief of staff, third party source, his kids also testified under oath on camera and said, yeah, uh, we told him it didn't. It wasn't real. So there's your memory jog. Is Ivanka wrong? Well, if she's saying it under oath, then I don't think so. I just, look, I'm not into as politics as you guys are, so I just don't remember this. But, I mean, if she's saying this under oath, then yeah, but I do believe there was election fraud, but so not agree, enough for So you agree Trump Ivanka was wrong? So you agree Ivanka was wrong? No, when did I say that Ivanka well, was Ivanka, wrong? Well, Ivanka, no, no, wait, you, wait, wait, here, you let's said clarify you believe, terms here. You, you election said you, fraud doesn't mean that there's enough election fraud to overturn the election. So do you think that there was enough election fraud to overturn the election? No, I just said that before. Okay. Oh, okay, well, then you, then you agree here that it was a free and fair election and that it was the case that Trump lost. And if Trump lost, he's oh undermining gosh, our American democracy by getting fraud, tens of millions stole. of people to believe in lies about the election that it was stolen. It's not stolen. If there's, it's, you have exactly. He he claimed, he claimed that it was stolen, and there was no good yeah. evidence indicating that. No. Yeah. So wait, you agree that the election was fair, and so you're saying that Donald no, Trump I don't. no knew the election was fair, and he tried dude, this to guy's back and forth, bro. election. It's not fair, but it's fair, dude. Back and forth. Yes, I'm you said okay. it was fair. Was, then you was, said it was yeah. unfair. Cody, Cody, Biden was. Won. I believe was the 2020 Biden election won. fair. In the sense Did that the, pro the proper person yes. won. Was there election? Was there? Okay, no, 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 no. Yes, great. Voting? That's, yeah. Yes. 
Cody, yeah, but there, there's than, election fraud. Wait, there's election fraud in like every single election. It's just not enough to change anything, right? There's like one person, like a handful of people in like a state of three million who will do something wrong, right? So if you recognize that the election was fair, then you're saying that Donald Trump uh, knowingly tried to overturn a fair election that he didn't win and tried to improperly and, quite frankly, illegally stay in power. I Like I said, I don't agree with everything that Trump does, but at the end of the day, I do believe that he is best fit for the country. This guy's okay, not the whole, the whole Wait, all. the whole, like, destroying democracy thing, like trying to overturn an election he didn't win. This is just destroying like, just the care. democracy thing is just MSDNC bullcrap that they're just trying See, to another, push. another MSDNC. Another, 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 another bullcrap talking point. You're not even engaging. Like, Donald Trump tried to overturn an election he didn't win. That is completely anti-democratic. When the people speak and make their voices heard and choose a leader— that leader wins and goes into office, and they do their thing, right? Trump is the first but president in history to not respect the peaceful transfer of power. What's also anti You have to engage. To oh imprison my God. His political stop, opinion. dude. That you no, have stop, to fucking stop, engage. Stop. You're not. Wait, we, well, I'm happy to talk about the case with you because I guarantee you have no idea what you're talking about, but focus on this. Trump tried to overturn an election he didn't win, which you acknowledge was a fair election. Did Biden win? Yes. But there was illegal votes that went okay, into the election. Okay, but you also agree that the votes were not enough to overturn the election, so it doesn't matter. We yes. There is election fraud in every single election. If it's not enough to overturn the election, it's not significant, especially when it's like a handful of people, right? So Donald Trump tried to overturn an election that you recognize as fair, and you just think that him trying to do that, trying to stay in power when he knew he lost, is just like whatever? What? I never said that. Dude, the mental fucking you, gymnastics I, here. I'm asking you. Do you just think it's like whatever? What, the transition of power? <laughs> no, him trying to steal an election. He never... Look. Oh. You're Go, putting no. this into words that it actually isn't. Stealing an election? No, yeah, he, he tried to steal the election, that. yeah. Cody, yeah, he tried Cody, to steal Cody, the Cody there, was, there was like seven yes, swing he did. states. He sent fake Holy electors shit. to the swing states. He sent fake electors to the swing states. I live in Georgia, so he sent a group of fake electors who claimed to be the rightful electors, claimed to try to certify that Trump won Georgia. They even had like a fake document. Multiple of those people, including lawyers, have pled guilty in Georgia to trying to defraud the United States. So yeah, these, there's, that definitely happened. Yeah, there's even a video of the people in, in Arizona doing it on video, signing false elector documents. We have subpoenaed emails of the chair of the RNC confirming that Donald Trump was involved in the fake elector scheme. And he also was trying to pressure his vice president to reject votes so he could win. Donald Trump, like being in the Oval said. Office, trying to trying to force the Department of Justice to like sign a letter that they agree that there was voter fraud and they refused to do it. So and that they were and they wanted them to like seize machines and stuff like that. That was talked about in an attempt to like persuade the people that there was fraud of some kind when there wasn't and he knew there wasn't and everybody around him was telling like him that there I said, wasn't i don't agree with everything that trump has done or this is said the most dis okay but like wait but this is like a huge thing to disagree with somebody on like i'm sure you don't you're not a fan of like putin rigging elections in russia to stay in power i'm sure yeah, you're not I'm a fan not, of that happening in I'm dictatorship so why are you why are you just Zelensky like i don't agree with him in, his in political States. Oh, either oh, yeah wait I'm, wait I'm happy stop stop pivoting because you're just like really good at it stop pivoting and focus on the topic pivoting. at hand you are pivoting so i'm asking no, you're you, talking do, do, about do you think people... it's like okay when like elite dictators in in these countries like steal elections so they can stay in power do you think that's okay no okay so but you and you disagree with them right and you think that's really bad right yeah because putin's a dictator he just says it's a democracy yeah wait what He's a dictator. He just says that Russia is a democracy, which it really isn't. Oh, thank you for that very insightful comment. Yes, we know that. Yeah. Uh, so you're not a fan of, of Putin doing that. You think that Putin is bad for doing that. You think he's wrong, right? Yeah. Well, OK, so then why Russia. don't why can't you say that Donald Trump is wrong for trying to steal the election? I never said that he was right or wrong. OK, I'm asking. So say it. Say he's wrong for doing it. Say Donald Trump is wrong for trying to steal the election. I don't agree with everything that he Okay, did. so say it. Say Donald Trump is wrong for trying to steal the election. Say it. No, he's not wrong or right. Oh I just don't my believe. dude, you are so no. deep. You are wait, so, so deep. if wait, deep wait, wait. So deep wait, let me just what? get this clear. Cody, Cody, Cody. So you think that Joe Biden, if he were to lose in twenty twenty in twenty twenty four, can like send false electors to states to try to overturn it? He can try to pressure the DOJ to overturn the election and like seize voting machines. He could pressure his own vice president to do so. All that stuff, you're like perfectly okay with it? 
You can call like yeah, state legislators telling them to call fraud, special sessions. It should be investigated, and that's what Trump was trying to do. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, five for wait Trump one for second. Prison. One second, Cody. I'm asking you a very simple question. Can Joe Biden do all these things? Send fake electors, call legislators, trying to pressure them to find votes and call special sessions to decertify uh, Trump's vote so he could have his vote certified? Do you think that's like okay for Joe Biden to do? And do you think it's like yeah, okay Biden, for him to enter into a conspiracy with multiple people, fake multiple votes people to do from it? From Trump. Then Biden should be able to set up an investigation to find. No, I'm not talking about an votes. investigation. I'm not talking about an investigation. We're not talking about investigations here. We're talking about fake electors and calling up people, pressuring them to find quote unquote votes for Biden to decertify Trump's votes. Do you think that's okay? Like yeah, uh, should, blatantly ignoring the will of the people votes, of the state? He should have people call up and try to find into these fake votes. No, no, he wasn't asking for fake, looking into fake votes. He was asking the Georgia Secretary of State to find him votes. He's like, I need you to find me 11,701 votes, which is one more vote than what Joe Biden won by, for example. Uh, and he was telling him, like, call a special session. You need to decertify these votes. Do you think Joe Biden doing that would be okay? Harrison, thank you for the dollar. What? I don't know what you're talking about of course you don't know what we're what? talking about because you have no idea what you're talking about generally like you have no idea no, what I goes do. on in the no. world around you you, you don't just, know what donald trump did you, you don't know that donald trump tried to steal the election morons. you don't know about his case you don't know about him being a sexual abuse you don't know any, any of this you are just spewing liberal mndtv what says harry <laughs> yeah dude you don't know any of this you can look you this, there's like entire those, reports on this stuff but you don't care to read disabled people like how you were mocking that disabled person before because you what? thought what? wait wait drugs? no no one no one Chris, no. no that's wait yes. wait cody, that, cody 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 that's that, cody listen you listen thought he was cody cody can you listen to me for one second i've been very quiet this whole time cody be quiet disabled problems cody cody he wasn't doing yeah, that Chris, because Chris they were disabled he had no clue that that individual had some type of restriction from them being able to speak that was an honest well, did you mistake see his profile okay? picture he didn't see the profile picture insofar as that he would have had some issue with being able to speak. There were plenty of people on earlier that were drunk, and there are plenty of people that come on our lives that are drunk, that are wasted, that have no clue what well, they're talking about. It's an, it, it, listen, Cody, be quiet. Be quiet, stuff. Cody. Cody, Cody. Yeah, you be quiet. You listen, idiot. I want you to let me finish. All you liberals are the bro, same. You're just bro, so you, mad. I don't you're literally you know so mad that I'm responding. Is, bro. I don't think you can do basic math. I don't think you can do basic math. I don't want to hear you call anybody else stupid when you don't even know what the hell you're talking about. You can't form You can't form a coherent thought. You cannot form a coherent thought. Thought. You oh, cannot really form a coherent have. thought. You really have no have. idea what you're talking about. No, you're you don't just paid read, by the you don't DNC investigate, to you don't try to research, stuff. you don't do yes, any I of do. it. You I cannot do. form a coherent you thought. You are a – you – what? I said you cannot form a coherent thought. No, I can. I'm sure my Cody, coherent thoughts are a lot better Cody, do you want me to continue explaining it or are you just virtue signaling? See, look at this. Look at this. Cody, yeah, Cody do, do you want like me to continue explaining it or do you want a virtue signal? What a Thank you for the champion. Thank you. Jack, what? Yeah, exactly. You're mad. Cody, you're saying, Cody, do you want me yeah, to continue I'm explaining mad, it or, or you're, you're just like doing that to virtue signal? Like I, wait, one second. I'm mad at your idiocy. Right you come now. in here and spew nonsense and then you go, oh, your 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 talking points, which by the way are verifiable by actual I... reports put out by the government. You're like, they're MSDNC talking points. You have no idea what you're talking about. You have not a clue. No. Wait, all right. Give me that. Let me ask you this. Name. Uh, three charges against Donald Trump and now all of his criminal cases. He's facing 88 felony charges. Can you name three? Falsifying document, falsifying documents. What are you, the thing with um, Michael Cohen? Look, I'm not paying attention to these trials as much as you guys <laughs> yeah, are. Yeah, exactly. I have but you, a you life. can form a coherent thought, on right? Social media. No, you said, but you said that Joe Biden's. Wait, hold on. You said that Joe Biden's targeting his political opponents. So surely you know what he's targeting him for, right? He's targeting his political opponents, and I with just what? gave you one. With what? Name three charges. And I just got a violation warning probably because you guys are trying to get me off or reporting. Yeah, or everybody's targeting Cody. Cody's just so important that everybody's trying to target Cody. No, no you're it's, just it's how you're it spewing is. misinformation. You, all, all the liberals try to silence the right Nobody's American trying to people. silence you. You're yes, up here you in front of 5,500 5, people. Warning. I you're have up, to get off. Cody, you're in off. front of 5,500 people talking. You're clearly banned. not silenced. I have to get off before I get banned. Oh Do God, this guy is such a crybaby. What a shame it is. Go away, please. Oh my God, dude. Holy hey, hey, crap. Hey, Harry, buddy. I got you, man. I got you. Yo, uh, oh my God. I, I, I got you, man. No, 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 Harry, Harry. Thank you, Christopher, for the $10. Love your lives. I get too much pleasure in listening to MAGA folk trying to sound intelligent and feeling horrible. I appreciate you. And Kristen and Keith Thompson, thank you for the uh, $5. I appreciate you. Hold on now. And then thank you, Israel, for the $2. And oh, Cody, no. thank you for the thank you oh, for the five dollars. No. Thank you so much, Sorry. Cody. I really appreciate it. And Arroyo, thank you for the five dollars as well. Hey, wait, hold on now. Should I make him big screen? He's about to dolphin dive. What do I do? Okay. Make him big screen.
Chris, are you okay, bro? Are you okay? Bro fucking ran into his wall. For what? <laughs> Did Who anybody pay money to do that? that? Dude, holy shit. Did anybody screen record that? Dude, my mic like my mic like bent bent the wrong direction. Tell that that. Oh no. It's fine. Chris how breaking his setup for a joke. How how that look? That that one looked better, Harry, you think? Was that one Is bro good? good? If anybody got that, please send it to me on Instagram. Was that was Harry, was that one as funny? <laughs> yeah, dude, you like had that... like the bowling sounds again, bro. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I'm good. I think uh, I think my elbow's bleeding a little bit, but a little battle scar, that's all we asked for. <laughs> Chris, oh my oh, god. Dude, when I came up here, my mic was like, was like, here. <laughs> oh, it was a good time. It was a good time. Uh, That's how it feels debating MAGA, dude. It's just, every time I get on here, I expect, I expect it, uh, I expect greatness, and I just, I get let down every time. Oh. Uh, <laughs> wow. Someone in the comments, dude, someone in the comments said, this is what extreme Democrats do. That, like dive into their setups that's right someone yeah, said sure, it's bro. real fun to you it's a person's name yeah, it's a person's name oh my god this person's so dense bro it's like when someone sends me <laughs> yeah no no, no 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 parker that's 100 percent right the, no 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 Par parker what do you mean it's 100 percent right the country israel has a cash app and they just like funnel right. us that makes perfect yeah, they sense. just they just send you two dollars yeah you know yeah, they I mean? send me two dollars um, right real quick uh bren thank you so much really good to see you i gotta dm you back 20 dollars on venmo w just so proud of you for using your voice to educate be keeping you bren i appreciate you so much it truly goes a long way uh twilla i believe five dollars fellow blue dot in a red state turn arkansas blue will make it happen it took a while for georgia but much love i really really appreciate it seriously alana three dollars i saw the wheels turn yeah alana it's why you need me up there to lol you're okay it's not crazy to ask alana i appreciate you a lot i appreciate you being a supporter uh, R R Rams. Did you just Rams? take a shit, money man? No, R I did not. R Rams, Ramses, R Ramses. I think. Um, thank you so much for the five dollars on Venmo. Have you made a video deal t detailing that list? If not, please do. You know what? I'll post that tomorrow. I got you. I, I appreciate the idea. It's a good idea. Been watching for a while. You're getting really good at this. Yeah, I appreciate that a lot. Super kind words, man. I uh, I appreciate you so much, truly. I got it. Sorry. We'll read. Uh, we'll read cash apps in a second as well, guys. I appreciate you so much. Yeah, Venmo cash app. Oh god! Are you kidding me, Parker? <laughs> that shit's uh, crazy, huh? Dude, are you serious? Bro? I, I, I wish, <laughs> right? I wish, dude. Like seriously, that'd be crazy at twenty-one. Uh, all of our Venmo, all of our Cash Apps are in our link in our bio. At least me and Parker's links in our bio, our, our link tree, and Chris's. Uh, I don't. Know, I think Chris's might be in his bio, or just might be his TikTok username. Um, so if you want to support, link in bio. But you know, of course, no pressure. All right, what's up, Money Man? Are you MAGA? And if someone has wow. a recording, like send it to me somewhere. My DMs are open there. I just got it. Listen, it better be good. That is genuinely how I was feeling. I mean, I, do you? Oh, I, I'm sorry. Do you want me to go? Yeah, go. So I'm not quite sure to answer what 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 what, what I should answer your question. I mean, first off, I, w I would like to say that. Uh, so I'm actually English isn't my first language. So I'm trying my best right now to kind of like communicate with you guys. I hope you guys understand that. But. Uh, if you ask me if I'm MAGA, I'm actually, I am MAGA, and I want to be a MAGA. There are so many different factors that is making me actually, like, leaving me, this is the only choice that I would like to actually get, which is being a MAGA. So would you like to talk about these uh, these uh, factors that is making me like that? Sure. So what are the factors? I mean, it's simply, like, Every time, every day, when you open the news, take take as nightly news, NBC nightly news. And I'm talking about NBC nightly news. I'm not talking about any Fox News or anything that is too extreme. Like take it for example, right tonight I was watching the news, and literally all like at by the end of that of that of that news, they were talking about how they were able to call actually uh, a criminal, an, an organized criminal Chinese. Uh, basically a uh, cartel, if you want to say them, or, or whatsoever, how they were running their illegal business to actually distribute marijuana in the country. Take that fact and think about all these people that they were able to actually get into the country, took, taking the fact that 
you know, ever since, you know, basically Biden got to office until now, there are 10 million of illegal immigrants who actually got to the country illegally. And by the way, I would like to point out here that I'm actually legal immigrant who came to the country legally, who had to go through the system and get all the vetting process to be able to actually live in this country. Can I so say one I, thing real quick? Sure, go ahead. Do you think that the system should go faster? Do I think the system, the, the system should go faster? Of course, it should go faster. Well, but then like, it sounds I'm, like you agree with Democrats as it relates to that. No, let me just let me just explain one thing, Parker, if you don't mind. Well, I do believe that the system has to go faster. But like when we actually look look at the fact when we have this policy in place, the policy it's called catch and release. This is literally you telling everybody in the world, hey guys, come on, come on over, come on to our country. Hey, we're not gonna touch you. We're not gonna do nothing bad to you. We're just gonna catch and release. This is the policy that our president has the executive order to stop this. All right, and and and, and just just guys, I like I'm not. Are trying you saying to... Trump stopped that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Look. Well, of course, Trump. Are you saying has... Trump stopped that? Yeah, he did actually stop that. Really? Why? Because he had a stay in Mexico uh, policy. Have you not heard about this yeah, policy? Yeah, so if you want to say the stay in Mexico border policy, mm -hmm. well, then it would be the case that, uh, one, that wouldn't relate to undocumented immigration. That's through the asylum process, which is legal. Two, that's not how international law defines it. Literally, no other country uh, that's developed right refers to it that way. Uh, and then three, as it relates to the Remain in Mexico border policy, that couldn't possibly be explaining why there's more people coming to the country like it not being there because Obama's administration didn't have the Remain in Mexico border policy, yet there was significantly less people coming here. So one, let me just let me just point, just point out one thing here about staying in Mexico and catch and release. All right, when Trump was in office, take, uh, I, I mean numbers don't lie, guys. All right, look at look at the facts. Since Biden has been in in the office until now, there are 10 million illegal immigrants crossing the country. Am I lying with that? I don't think so. Now, if you're just they, talking about, like you're just talking about encounters, and that's not undocumented immigrants necessarily. Well, I'm talking about people that actually went the journey and came to the came to Mexico and then went through our country from Nevada and California. Well, I'm but also the numbers that. are misleading, right? Like the numbers don't well, indicate just like you're... on Google, Harry. Yeah, if no, I know, I know what I know what you're talking about. First of all, as Parker mentioned, those are just encounters. That doesn't mean that they came into the country. Second of all, to say that like the quote unquote the numbers don't lie and then like put it on Joe Biden is wild because it's very possible, and which is the case right now, that things are happening outside of our border that are forcing people up into the country that is taking place under Biden, not Trump. Right? Like why why would you just automatically think that it's biden who caused this when in reality there's things happening outside of our country that are like making people want to seek because, economic opportunity for example go back go back to when biden got to the office the yeah. first yeah. couple executive orders who actually got he, he he took all i mean title 42 you remember you, you've heard title about 42 ex still went on in during the biden administration but it can't go on forever it's a pandemic era policy you can't like you actually have to argue in front of courts as to why it should continue and if there's no like pandemic era threat or medical threat to the country you can't continue title 42 when trump didn't have title 42 for his entire presidency hurry hurry when you see the amount of drugs that has been flooding in our country when you see uh, and by the way just i, I just want to point Andriana, out one, thank you so much for the five dollars thank you fentanyl so uh, deaths as a result of the f drug actually went down in 2023 yeah and, and biden has seized more at the border than every than trump did well, May I just, Lori, thank you for the five dollars as well thank I, you I'll, just really quick on, on that point as well like biden like a lot of that the F drug that's flowing through is coming from China, and that's exactly why like, uh, Biden had a very important meeting with Xi Jinping in San Francisco that okay. went well enough for like one of Biden's demands to make relations better. It was like, you have to get control in China over the F drug like coming out of your country because it's hurting us here. And there was some type of agreement on that, although it's been a while. It was last year, so I'd have to go look into what that was. But Okay, okay, Chris. When you have, when, 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 when you, when you are in your house and you are under threat, you know that there are people coming into your country, right? And you, you are the owner of this house. You have the key. You can, you can lock in 
and and make sure that we're not gonna just wait until we have people come into our country and then we say oh we should have done this we should have done that we they just got eight people that are right uh, basically they're tied to isis and i'm I, i've heard you guys talking about this i mean hurry i cannot like, watch your your video all the time right i mean and your life all the time so i've heard you guys talking about this which is great but like the fact that the matter guys that this, this is this is this is actually a big factor and i'm and i'm guys at the end of the day like when i when i when i uh you know like when we have this debate is for the best for our country right we, we both yeah. i mean you guys and us we all like who is biden who's trump at the end of the day there they, are just two people we're not gonna be here sitting and talking about two people who actually at the end of the day this is our country this is this is where we want to raise no we, we we all agree 100 percent that we're like arguing for the best of our country but that is not donald trump he doesn't have any immigration policy he had four years to try to solve it he failed he had the republican house and senate he failed um and his policy right now changes nothing he's saying like yeah let's just deport a bunch of people what does that solve it what does that solve so it is not going to solve but what exactly trump so so trump doesn't promising. have any policy mm -hmm. Harry, Harry, just, just, just give me one second. When okay, Trump but please make it quick. Up, when, when, when Trump, when, when Trump came up with the wall, you know, idea, right? And I know it's a very extreme idea, and I know it's something can't be happening, and all this and that. But the fact that how Democrats go back to 2018 to 2017, how Democrats, when Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi went to the Oval, to, to, to the Oval Office, and they were arguing, pressure him, just to actually like try to to create all these hooks, all these. Th just so they can distribute, kind of like uh, prevent him from what, what he was actually trying to do to, 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 to solve this issue. To wall, actually what would the wall control. solve? What would the wall solve? The wall will solve the biggest issue that we are going to face soon. And, and for, what's the and biggest issue? Not, we, we, we are having people right now who got to this country illegally and they're doing criminal activity in this country. Unfortunately, yeah, wait, 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 right now, sir. The, the, the biggest issue with immigration right now is people abusing the asylum system. That's the biggest issue. There's not like this this uh, swath of undocumented migrants who are like flooding the border and going in and sneaking in. And we have no idea. That's just not true. Right? It's just not true. So to the biggest problem is asylum. What's Donald Trump's plan, plan to address asylum? Let me just let me just uh, address one thing on this regard. Just, just OK, but then just, please just answer my question. Fact that there are 10 million people who got to this country illegally, right? No, those are 10 million are... encounters. Right, right, right. I agree with you on this one. I apologize. Okay. But the fact that, that just, just, just this fact that when they got to this country illegally, think about what they actually went through. I've heard stories from people who got to this country illegally and now they're actually, you know, they got catch and release and all and that. They had to pay $10,000 to the cartel in Mexico to be able to get to where they are. I'm talking about people coming from Africa, Jordan, all, uh, any, uh, like- That's uh, how the you, asylum process works. It's from uh, countries around the world. No, 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 Chris, Chris. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Barker. This is not, they did not, they, they paid this to the cartel to the to, to, so basically they empowered all these people in mexico to be Wait, able money, to get money. to the border can yes, i actually sir. can i actually tell you something there i think that the cartels exist and uh uh and have their power due to u.s foreign policy related to the drug war right what funds the cartels i mean all the illegal activities activities that they do and, all and that, what are those typically all that, all the drugs that they've been flooding the country. Oh, right. So, like, would they have less power in doing so if we legalize and decriminalize most of these types of drugs? Of course. So, if that's true, why don't we look at the root cause of why cartels are this way, right? Because in that sort of standpoint, a lot of these people coming from these countries would be more likely to stay in those countries, more likely to build up the countries they exist in, than try to come to the U.S. for better conditions if it was the case that the conditions that exist there well, were I mean, better. We, and we, we have to acknowledge that the U.S. is, we have to acknowledge that the U.S. is aided in making the conditions, right, of these countries worse off due to its U.S. foreign policy, right, again? Right, Barker, but we can't solve every every country's uh, problem. I mean, at the end of the day, we're just, we're, we're just country. Yeah, we, we have- I never we, said we, we can have... solve it all, but we could solve, you know, issues we caused, right? And right. I think we have the obligation to solve that if we can. When, you, when I see people coming from all over the world, I mean, what what about all these countries in South in, in South Africa? I mean, I'm sorry, in South in, in South America, like we did not do, we did not create any war in 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 in, 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 in like U.S. foreign uh, policy related to the drug war. That also impacts well, South America. Absolutely. Well, it does. they have. Well, well, well what Barker, they have also colonialization, right? If we're talking about like Africa, if we're talking about South America, these countries 
right, have been colonized, stripped of resources, taken advantage of by European countries for generations. That also okay. is important to take into account. Right. There are plenty I, of things I, I, that the U.S. and other Western European countries have done to these countries that we have to, as a society, acknowledge and try to help out because they were caused by the country in which we reside and in which we benefit from. Right. I get it. I, I, I know. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I, I disagree with a lot of stuff that, that we, we've done as, a, as the foreign policies. But the fact that the matter is that we just look at it like how 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 is it right now right we have people and by the way and and, and this is the same like I, i've gained this 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 information that, that i'm providing that i'm gonna provide you from the same nightly news that i actually see every day there are people who gets to the to, to the border guess what they do they destroy their document they literally destroy the document and then they they they, they get into 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 the u.s and they claim to be whoever they are and how can we run the background check on all these people guess what we're not going to be able to do that so we fund the border patrol more right like yeah Biden make the system go faster which would incentivize people to go through the legal process right? yeah well, well kimberly thank we you for the 25 dollars on venmo thank you so much kimberly barker how are we going to make the system faster if we're actually hey allowing exactly everybody, what, what, what if allowing everybody to flood the so country pass, pass the policy that joe biden tried world. to pass so Biden tried to provide billions more dollars to Border Patrol and funding for this very reason, to process people quicker or uh, to hire more people to deal with asylum claims or the F drug and things like that. That's what Biden tried to do, and the Republicans shot Harry, it down. But anyway, we'll wrap up the debate in a second. Harry, you can make one more point, and we'll sure, sure. We Harry, finish. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap up this, this too. Harry, let me ask you just a simple question. And yeah. Please answer me like with a straight, like not, not thinking about it as a, as a Democrat or Republican. Yep. Do you believe that the president right now have the power to stop the 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 the, the, the immigration process uh, i mean a, a crisis do you believe this no not, not by himself no oh my god okay well i guess what what, uh, what legal authority does he have he does have all the authority all the exactly via what executive order to shut down the border due to that raise of and i mean he, wait, recently he just he actually, just wait 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 he, recently, he, just, yeah, yeah, agree, he agree. just signed recently. an executive order and it already got wait. sued by the aclu and the aclu is likely going to prevail so hold on a second he has all the all, all all the argument in the world to prove to the court that he shut down the the, the, the border he can shut down Do the you, border for that for the sake of our country for our national security this is a national security Harry. this, this is, is nonsense this is nonsense this, is this ab absolutely is you, uh, I mean, you, you would lose that argument in court in a minute right saying like oh more people coming to the border and like claiming asylum is a national security issue we're doing it for national security reasons because we think we're being tar no that's nonsense donald trump used that same logic in court he tried to do like a bunch of things that were illegal in immigration and lost like the majority of the time he took that he was sued in court on this stuff with executive orders right so it's not as easy as just saying like oh whoa the president signed an executive order that's great let's do it and it's all good what's up jillian uh it, it actually has to like prevail in court and be legal and a lot of this stuff is illegal the president can't just shut down immigration <laughs> All right, Harry. Look, at the end of the day, I mean, I know we're we're closing this is, but at the end of the day, look, I I honestly, if this if this come to me, like I'm talking to you, like I recently become an American an American citizen, citizen awesome. after I went through all that process, and I basically had to stay here for five years after my green card, but like yep. just for the sake of the country, like I'm just saying honestly, let just let just, I mean, I know our country is way too divided that I can't even change anything with it, but like just just think about the fact that unfortunately we're at a point of our you know like a a American history where we have to pick and choose between somebody who who basically they described him like I mean one of the Democrat uh, basically member described that an elderly man who has a poor memory who has to run the country and Donald Trump that's who's not they didn't describe him as that that's not true okay wait I'm not I'm sorry I'm gonna cut you off you're spreading misinformation nobody described him as that that is the, the defense that special counsel Robert Hur said that they think mm -hmm. Biden would put up not that he is that and unfortunately, uh, uh, when we look at it at the, at the second part with Donald Trump, who basically, I believe, unfortunately, but I do believe that when he actually, if he gets to the office, he's actually going to like spend all the time fighting all, basically, all that Democrats and, and, and everything they actually did for him. And that is what, 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 what's sad. Okay. Like if, if okay. any one of them, they get to this point, it's just going to be a sad for our country. So Wait, I just- What state are you voting in? I'm actually in Pennsylvania. In Pen Pennsylvania. God help us all. All right, man. You have a great night, okay? Nice talking to you guys. I hope you guys nice. all get it. 
I hope well, you, should, you should listen to our debates more. I think it would convince you. Yeah. Yo, Kimberly, thank you for the $25 on Venmo. I appreciate you. Very, very kind. And you also support a Parker. That's amazing. Adriana, thank you for the $5. I appreciate it. And Lori, thank you for the $5 saying, don't tell anyone I'm the DNC. That's how we get it, everybody. They funnel it through Lori. And Shannon, thank you for the $5. Um, and Janine, thank you for the $25 on Venmo. W Janine. And that's amazing. I appreciate you. Love you, Harry. Thanks for educating us all. I love you too, Janine. Thank you so much. And Chris, thank you for the $1. I appreciate you, my man. Oh, hold on now. Uh, Cody, thank you for the five dollars. Saying America's only hope is Biden in twenty twenty four. Trump for prison. I love it, Cody, my man, long hauler. And Marshall, thank you for the dollar sixty nine. And Crystal, thank you for the five dollars. I appreciate you. All right, if you're mag in the chat, we'll bring you up. Let's go. Let's go. Type mag hey. in the chat, everyone. Tap that screen. Let's get to a million likes. Share the live as well. If you want to support me, oh, Harry, or Chris, Venmo Cash App in the bio. You can find it in the link tree as well. It's the best place to find it. Hope you all are having a fantastic night, everyone. Do you tap that here. screen. Caleb, come up. Bro. Type Meg in the chat if you want to join us. So many people have this notification, this new notification. I don't get it. The like X amount of people. Like, I don't know. Something like that. What's up, man? Yo, yo. Um, so you're MAGA? I wasn't at first, but yeah. Um, okay, why are you MAGA? Why? <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of reasons why. I so just? I mean, for one, inflation's gone up 20.2 percent since uh, 2020. Well, but other pulse, countries like you, no, 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 like you guys say, other countries also receive inflation. Yeah, but it's only eight percent compared to 20. And Wait, where are you getting that number from? <laughs> we can't hear you right now. Give up a minute, yeah, everyone. If, if you're off the app, we can't hear you. I don't know if you know that. When you're using In your the Google meantime, or... everybody, drop a follow on everybody. Drop a follow up there if you haven't already. We do these lives all the time. Follow Chris. Follow Parker. They do lives as well. They post videos. It's fantastic. I would highly recommend it. Come on, bud. Yeah, we can't hear you when you're off the on the app. Maybe you're looking for it right now, but Yeah, I was looking for it, but fuck it. I won't even do that. It's pointless. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, go find it. You can't just okay, say I'll that there's like, it. you I'll, can't no, name unknown it. country no, 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 and say that inflation fine. went up 8%. I'll find it. I'll find it. That's fine. Right, just give it, me a moment. You guys can talk to your guys' chat. Give it a second. <laughs> should I break out the Jeopardy music? Or yeah, we should. Alright, we're Caleb? breaking out the Jeopardy music. Who's Caleb? Hello? I, I don't know. Caleb, how old are you? Did I'm I, 22. Did I, who added him up? I, I did, but I, I oh, okay. he just appeared for me. Oh, Caleb, so how old? 22. And are you voting Trump? Um, yes. Why? Why? Um, it has nothing to do with my political views. I would honestly say that I'm <laughs> in the middle. And in fact, maybe a little bit more on the left side. But just the fact that I do not think Biden is a good fit for the country. My God, I mean, Trump is? I mean, I mean, my God, is, is Trump a good man. fit for the country? Wait, what, bro? I think Ryan, think I of the think, five dollars. I think the thought process behind Trump's reasonings makes sense versus what? everything that Biden has done so far. Like, as what? like what? Um, uh, pulling troops out. I, I never agreed with. I think Wait, the that started, that started Trump set that up. Trump. That was started, set up by Trump. No, it was not. It yes, was, it was. You want to bet? How much money? Out. Thousand wait. bucks. Yeah, Caleb, you how much money Biden, you want to bet on this right now? That was in Biden's term. How much? Wait, wait. How much do you want to? Oh my God! It was followed through right under Biden's term. Wait, 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 the agreement wait, wait, wait. was set up by Trump. How, how much money you want to bet on this right now, Caleb? Thousand bucks each. Thousand bucks each. Well, if 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 we are wrong, <laughs> both Chris Parker and I will all send you a thousand dollars. But if you're wrong, you have to send us like each fifty. Sound good to you guys? He can do a thousand each. Or you want to do? Okay, we'll do a thousand each. Let's see. Let's see the facts. Do you do, do, you, do you, you take, take the deal? The I, I'm, I'm telling, I'm telling you my thoughts on why I'm not. Do you, do you take the bet or no? I, I mean, no. But wait, wait, you're not telling us. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, you're yeah, not exactly. telling. You're not. 
you're I not find telling it very us interesting. K- Caleb, how, uh, you're, you're not telling us your uh, thoughts. You, 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 right? Just then, you just told us an objective, just not truth, and we're just calling you out. Yeah, it's time. completely false. It's just false. So, since you won't take the bet, uh, what the agreement, the agreement to pull troops out of Afghanistan was called the Doha Accords, and that agreement was signed with the Taliban in February of 2020, when Donald Trump was still in office. So, if Trump were to win, they were already reducing. A troop presence in Afghanistan before Trump left office. But if he were to win, the Af- the Afghanistan pullout would have still happened. Now, the Doha Accords was a really bad deal. Uh, the inspector general blamed us for one of the reasons as to why the pullout was so messy and terrible, but it was initiated by Donald Trump. Okay. Okay. So if you disagree uh, with the Afghanistan withdrawal, then you disagree with Donald Trump as well. That Okay. Well, let me say this. You could be right on that one argument, but the argument of me wanting a president in a good mental state still hasn't been argued. Oh, so you're voting for Biden then, right? Because you wouldn't be voting for Donald Trump who couldn't even identify his own ex-wife. You wouldn't be voting for Donald Trump who said that Obama is still president or the guy that said we're going into World War II or couldn't identify his former White House doctor who was in a crowd in front of him. You wouldn't be voting for someone who does any of that stuff, right? Obama. No. Well, I could say I could say countless examples for things Biden okay, has Okay, go for done. it. Like, go for it. There, we, we, if you want me to sit here and tell you all the times go for Biden it, yeah. has... <laughs> Has, Go for has just give us one. Just give like us one time. Idiot. Yeah, give us give us give one, us time. one time where where like he completely got something wrong. He got, he didn't stutter. He didn't misspeak because we do that all the time. But give us one time where he just completely got something wrong. Um. There. Okay. Based off of everything that I have seen off Biden and his policies and the way he speaks. I would much rather have a president. I'm, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> 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 one time, oh, no, one time. Give us one time. I, I, I don't, I don't know a time. You don't know any. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> oh, oh man, you know what? I must have the force. I knew it. I just knew it. I must have yeah. telepathy. I, I, I don't pay attention to like the things. No, just Biden stop right there. Says. Period. Period. I don't pay. Atten- I pay period. attention right to. There. I pay attention to the things What's up, that everybody he. From Tommy's live. Appreciate you. I pay attention to everything he does slash amends in the country, like laws. Okay, so like, really, so, so what a... Biden policy do you disagree with? Um, like I said, policies when it comes to Biden don't necessarily disagree with. It's just so what policies did you like under Trump? So what policies did you like the under Trump? The immigration, the immigration problem. <laughs> what what, my what, main what thing. policy did you like under Trump? I, I like immigration. The immigration. I live in what, Texas. What was the immigration policy under Trump? All right, bro. Y'all handle this. One. I, I I live in Texas and I've seen what it's become versus what it used to be. Okay, so now we just need cause and effect. So explain to me what policy changed from Trump to Biden that causes. If if you're making the cause Biden, then what did Biden do to make it so bad? I don't. Know. <laughs> Oh my oh. God, bro! Dude, Yo, did. dude, this dude, guy dude, 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 so bad. Yeah, guys, cause and effect. Well, listen, really did important. you did you get the source yet, bro? But yeah, it was bang great. I was letting you guys speak, and Thank then you. I appreciate also... it. They were very respectful. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, there's also some like there's like three or four other websites that also stated if you just look from 2020 to 24, inflation rates. Yeah, which state? Which which sources? Uh, there was also one. There was like Metro Center. There was Bank Ray. There was no, also. What's the title so I can find it? Uh, give me one second so I can give you the full thing. Go ahead. Uh, real quick, real quick. Whoever um, just said four v one, nice, nice maga math. <laughs> yeah, right. No, 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 just no, like no. when I was. They at got maga mogul, maga mobile, maga math. Yeah, That's no, it. seriously, I was at a rally and uh, in in Vegas, and I bought water because I was dying of uh, thirst uh, because it was 112 uh-huh. degrees outside, and literally the 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 person gave me back incorrect change that's right that's you know math. immediately thought maga math you know what i mean right there. that would happen at a trump rally oh. they give me incorrect change right uh, a dollar too little real quick yeah, it's uh, i didn't say anything i said he needs it he, that's that's right look at parker oh gee. uh roll so good to see you for dolphin diving five dollars on cash up i appreciate you so so much really it's great to see you goes a long way w's in the chat savannah four dollars fifty cents hi chris shout out lulu and Mar. i love you guys shout out people on live savannah great to see you and also a dollar for the discord message you all be in there savannah i love you i'm glad that you're in there now uh, mary great to see you three dollars for trying to be calm on tiktok you're so kind i really hope you're well it goes a long way you know gotta uh, i remain calm that's why i dolphin dived into my setup 
Cody, thank you so much for five dollars on Cash App. Uh, for Trump for President twenty twenty four, dude, goes a long way. I agree. Trump Dolphin diving into the setup is crazy. I know. I know. Popular Chris. monster. Hi, Chris. Welcome to Jackass. Oh, that's right. Oh, the dolphin dive. Hi, Chris. I'm gonna. Dude, I gotta perfect it though. I need more of like an angle so I can like not just like run into it, but just just fucking just elegance. That's what I need. We're, Popular we're monster. Get a, we're gonna get a Twitter clip to blow up. That's about right. This. Po Popular monster. I really appreciate the five dollars on Cash App. Goes a long way. And Christina. Five dollars for sir. Please don't do that again. Christina, great to see you. Sorry, it's been a minute since I read all these, but don't do that again. We'll see. Depends if MAGA just infuriates me. Sometimes I just feel like I need to dolphin dive into something. I really appreciate you. It goes a long way. Yo, Chris, can I give you advice though? You probably shouldn't dolphin dive because people can actually report you for self harm. <laughs> that is that you know, he's actually not wrong. There's one time on live, um, I did like not the same thing, but I did something like that. Like I stood up and I like started making motions, like I was punching the air, and I got banned for two weeks for like I mean, self harm. You know? People get I don't know. The TikTok's banned for this fucking breaking Emperor, keyboards. <laughs> That's right. Nicole, thanks for five dollars on Venmo. But anyways, it's www. Nikki, so good. Great. Com, and then there's also www. I'm asking for the title, not com. the website title. I'm asking you the title is of the of, of it. You want the title. Yeah, yeah. What happened to the other guy? Relevant to this particular he he, le I, I he left right after Chris <laughs> asked him a basic question. I, I asked him what the call. He was like, "I live in Texas. Uh, the border's like my main issue." I was like, "Okay, so Biden's the cause," and he's like, "Yeah." And I was like, "So uh, what did Biden do to like cause that?" And then he left. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally latest inflation statistics. That's literally the title. What is and the right, claim? So what is Yo, the Missy? Claim? Thank you for the ten dollars on Venmo. I appreciate you. But what anyways, also homelessness is on gone up like 30 percent since 2020 which i get it's covid you know that was also a thing i can't fucking deny that covid fucked everybody up and the reason why homelessness went up is because a lot of social programs expired that the democrats wanted to uh wanted to um renew like for example the child tax credit which reduced child poverty by 50 percent in one year the democrats were like hey let's renew it and the republicans said no that's so right Joe, thank you for the twenty dollars on Venmo. W Joe in the comment section. Thank you, Joe. And I wouldn't even call myself Republican. I'm more independent than anything. I will say that. What state are you voting in? I'm in Florida as of right now, but I'm from Iowa. Uh, I'm, Harry, I grew up in Iowa as well. Harry, look, you can look at what I just DM'd you on Twitter. Very helpful okay. graph that I found. Yeah. So, like, what, here's my question: Can you name one policy that Donald Thanks. Trump influenced to get passed that benefit the middle class? <laughs> Say that again. Sorry, I'm sick. My ears are congested. You're good. Don't worry. Can you name one policy that Donald Trump influenced to get passed that benefit the middle class? The middle class? Fuck. <laughs> uh, sadly, no. Sadly, no. So, what cool. makes, Thanks for the $3. So knowing I'll that buy myself Trump, a ball pit. I love you. Knowing that Trump's a proven sexual abuser, proven fraudster, election denier, he's been undermining our American democracy for the past few years with no sufficient evidence, why would you want to vote for this guy given that you don't know a single policy that he passed that benefit the middle class. What was the last president that uh, actually went to the Russian embassy before Donald Trump? I don't know. Is that it's even quite the pivot? Okay. Is, is, is that JFK. relevant more than it's, sexual that's, abuse, that's, defamation, that's quite, fraud? It's quite the pivot. It was JFK. four felonies? It was JFK. So what? Like, why does that, why does that matter? <laughs> Let's name a random statistic that has no, nothing no, to do no, with no, the no, conversation. No. That'll definitely own the lips. <laughs> who was yeah, the last that president? That will own the lips. That will own the lips. Who was the last president that ate a burger with Dijon mustard? <laughs> that's right. That's President Trump. You know, it was saying, Barack Obama. Wait, real quick, real quick. Jamie, Jamie, thank, Jamie, thank you so much for $10 on Venmo. Excuse me. Thank you so much for, excuse me. Excuse me. Turn off these lights. Jamie, thank you so much for $10 on Venmo. First aid kit. I love you. I'll do it. Audrey, $5. I don't know if I've seen you now. I really, really appreciate it. It goes along with <laughs> medical bills after the dive. Well, thanks. And then to... also, you guys always go after Trump on how he like insults <laughs> people. Chris, do you feel bad about what you did to that handicapped guy in the wheelchair? Oh, really yeah. Actually, oh actually, God, hold on. Bro. Let me, let me, let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Actually, no, yes. Actually, actually, yes. I feel incredibly bad. Like I apologize perfectly. <laughs> because it was an honest mistake. It was an oh, honest. The wait. multiple people have come up here very drunk or intoxicated or they're high saying this because they they're mad. They're literally yeah, just like, mad. Like it was. Yeah. I to genuinely totally apologize. Frank, I apologize he had no clue. Peace. He apologized immediately. He did nothing fucking wrong in that scenario because there are plenty of people that come up on our lives all the time that specifically state that are. I mean that are that. Are that are, that are drunk, well, that, that are that are clearly not engaging properly. Right? And if it is the case that he makes an honest mistake and he owns up to it, right? I don't see anything wrong with that. And then, and then if Trump uh, apologizes, can I, can I, can I finish this, Lori? Lori, yeah, go, 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 go. Uh, Audrey, thank you so much. Great to see you. If you're down, I'd love to follow Lori. Lori, not you, Lori. Different Lori. You made it in a new mic. Five dollars. I appreciate you so much. And Nicole, of course. Thank you so so much. You guys are the best.
You're good now. But if Donald Trump was to apologize, we wouldn't forgive him, right? He, he when is Donald Trump wait, wait, name one, one of the biggest reasons why it's name, bad. Name one time you remember Donald Trump apologizing. Name one. <laughs> Lori, they, you actually make a great point because one of the reasons we're not voting for him is you've never heard him say, I should have done that. I got it wrong. Uh, you never heard him apologize. Not once. This is the guy who said a hurricane was going to hit Alabama. And when the National Weather Service put out a statement like, hey, guys, just so everyone's safe, it's actually not going to hit Alabama. The Like two days after that on national television, he came out with a graph. And in Sharpie, he had penned in Alabama because he couldn't admit that he was wrong. When have you ever heard Donald Trump say, I'm sorry, go. I know what time Biden said sorry recently. I mean, I'm sure he has said I'm sorry. I mean, Donald Trump, no, he literally hasn't. He's a raging narcissist. I mean, they could also make that same opinion about you, Chris. You know, like what? They couldn't how? Yo, it does, does the it argument. feel good knowing you're like top five worst people I've ever talked to on TikTok? Like, <laughs> straight up. Honestly, like, yo, even... you have a lot to go through. Trust me, <laughs> dude. There's some fucking insufferable you're people. You're not even like making an argument right now. Like you're just like attacking Chris for some reason. It's like really strange. I'm just saying because we make these same accusations against Trump. And dude, then dude, 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 dude. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is no yeah, because this is, again, 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 again. Like, when you're with your fucking maga math, with your maga, with your maga. Maga math is literally they took Parker coined it. Maga math. This is the this is dude. The, you're like proving <laughs> you're proving our point by what you're saying. The fact that we're up here and we're like, hey guys, the bar for president of the United States should be higher than the convicted felon found liable for sexual abuse who says like, uh, well, you can grab women by the blank, tried to overturn an election, found liable for business fraud. We're like, guys, the bar should be higher. And you're like, you're like attacking me and being like, oh, well, some people call call you a narcissist, just like. Uh, they call Donald months. Trump a narcissist. Like, don't compare me to the president of the goddamn United States, please. It's, it's but you're absurd. advocating for the next president of the United States. So yeah. Oh my I God, dude! Actually, please, yeah. like, wait. I'm sorry. Chris is not running for the president of the United States. Chris hasn't done anything near to what Donald Trump has done, and to try to like put them on the same scale is ludicrous. But he's also not running to be president. So we're not holding Chris to the standard of like somebody who's going to be the next president of the United States, right? So even if Chris says something that you would be like, yeah, I don't want my president to say that. Congratulations, Chris is not going to be your next president. Capiche? Good. I'm glad we got past that. All right. Do you guys agree with just leaving fucking weaponry? and iraq well good thing we didn't do that and it was i was not iraq it was afghanistan nice oh okay i mean fuck yeah. I'm gonna, hey bro how what are the there, three branches the of the government what are the three branches of the government big dog fucking repeat yourself you what, are three, what, what are the three what what are the three branches of government big dog i mean we got the judicial we got the legislature and then we got the fucking <laughs> uh-huh not, not the legislature yeah. You guys are cute. We're what? Now you're, getting, now you're getting mad. See, this is this is what Park talks about. Yeah. The goal up here is not to like make fun of people or like we. I certainly don't know everything. I get things wrong on live. All I the know. Time. So it's that, no, 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 no. It's that. It's that. Excuse me. It's that. It's that. It's that. It's that. It's no, no. I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's that ignorance. Ignorance is bliss, and you need to fucking go to therapy. If you're getting mad, if you if you're the first words out of your mouth when you want to talk about politics and someone's like, hey, do you know what you're talking about? And you get angry. You're like, oh, this is such a joke. Look at these kids, bro. Get help. Get help. It's okay not to know things. But when you come up here like an arrogant piece of shit and you're like, oh, this is like, obviously, we're going to make fun of you. Like, you could just be like, I don't know the answer to that. You could say that. You could be like, damn, I should probably research. It's almost like when you get up here and talk about politics and who you're voting for and you can't name a piece of legislation, you can't name any like anything mm -hmm. Biden has really done and you can't talk. You literally don't know the three branches of government. Effectively, what you should do is get off the live and go, damn. You know what? It's not a bad thing that I don't know, but maybe I should research more before I vote for president of the United States because clearly, like, I'm underinformed. But instead, because, like, you have the emotional maturity of a fucking child, you sit up here and get angry when you don't know basic things. This guy. Mm. Wait, hey, I'm sorry. Well, listen, listen can, can, we, can we talk to Vile Sisson for a second? I'm sorry. This person, <laughs> I just got to hear their voice. Yeah, wait, bro. Hello? What's going on? Of course. What's going on? That. Yeah. Oh, let's go, name, God, brother. Can you name me yeah. one policy that Donald Trump influenced to get passed that benefits the middle class? You talking, talking to me? You up there? No, yeah, shit, I'm talking to you. Oh well, yeah, he like didn't give all our money to Israel and Ukraine. Oh, oh no, this goodness. guy. It's this guy. It's I'm voting for Trump. <laughs> Dude, I'm voting for Trump. Like immediately when we hear yeah. the voice.
Yeah, no, I know you're right. It's that guy. It's that guy. Dude, this guy's such a freak. Yeah, like, what, he's such a weirdo. Is that, is that the guy who's like super anti-Semitic? Yeah, he's like incredibly anti-Semitic. Yeah, that makes sense. That adds up. Yeah. Anyways, Chris, enlighten me. You know, I've been waiting for that answer. Wait, what am I enlightening you on, bro? I could, I could do a lot of that for you. The the thing that you asked me a question on. I, honestly, cold, I, Chris. It's cold. I don't even remember because you got too mad at me because you're, he, 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 you're talking about the three branch of government, right? Yeah, yeah. I asked you. I asked you what the three branch of government. I asked you what the three branch of government were. Okay, and I said, enlighten me. Then go for it. Because you said ignorance is bliss, so here I am, open mind. Executive. No, no, no. no everybody, wait, hold Finish on. Finish it now. for me. Give me the two others. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing. I'm not doing. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm gonna like actually like. Sorry. Lose my. Go ahead. Wait, wait. We'll give you. Which one did you get? You said say the say the one you got again. I forget which one he got. I think he said he didn't get any of them. I gave one to him. No, no. What you give to him? Did he remember? I'm just letting you guys enlighten me. What did I give to you? Which one did I give to you? Uh, judicial. Okay. A but, judicial? but I think he called it. I think he called. Okay, it was judicial. You and were then, close with legislator. Yeah, yeah, it was close. legislative. Yeah, there we go. Legislative. legislative. And then the third one. It's, it's the pre It's like uh, think of it like the president and all the uh, little three letter agencies. What branch is that? CEO. The there the second there. letter in CEO. The second letter. Oh, executive? Is that? Yeah, is that, yeah. Uh, nice. Good job. There we go. We're back in history class, guys. Fuck. You know, we gave you a little bit of help. And this is not history class. This is just common Six. knowledge, bro. This is actually this is actually the three like biggest fucking goofballs on TikTok. So <laughs> Homework's due at five. Or Parker's gonna Parker's gonna <laughs> Parker's gonna <laughs> so I can't see. Oh, uh, we're we're gonna come after you. We're gonna say you're paid by the Parker's RNC. Parker's got a wooden spoon and he's ready. Homework's due at six, kids. I'm sorry, I can't I'm sorry. Bro, That's Parker's crazy. face in the dolphin diving video is so funny. I know no Parker immediately Parker immediately goes, he goes, I think what he say? He was like, Chris. Are you okay? I'm just like laying there, not moving. <laughs> listen to the sound of this video. Yo, I appreciate you, uh, Karen Parker. Listen, 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 listen. Wait, 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 wait. Send me that video. Wait, wait, back it up. Play for Parker. Wait, wait, back it up, back it up, back it up. Chris, are you okay, bro? Yo, I'm gonna post that, bro. No, it's so yeah, funny. Yeah, like, Dolphin Dive Parker's like, Parker's like, dude, are you okay? <laughs> dude, it's so funny. Um, sorry, lol. Sorry, we're just laughing about some. Right. Anyway, do you have any other things you want to talk about regarding MAGA? I mean, excuse me, uh, excuse me. I'm just going to tell you this. If we don't fucking get our shit together as a country, we are just fucked. We got, yeah, I, we don't, and we don't what? do that by. And I Donald think Trump. there's one side that's not getting their shit together and is following a guy no matter what the fuck he does. You could shoot a person on Fifth Avenue and he literally would still vote for him. I mean. <laughs> Like I said, like I said, bro. thank you so much, Cody. This man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, I'm sorry, Cody. Vladimir Putin, face to face in a solo room, not a president ever done that without social security. But you know, you guys enjoy your day. Chris, are you okay, bro? Are you okay? God. <laughs> sorry, sorry. All right, Law. Oh, and he just left. You go down there. He said, dude, the noise though. It sounds like a bowling alley. Every single time, right? Once you get this, is, this is it, guys. From Why can't I ride this George? Thank though? you so much, Cody. I really appreciate it. And Arroyo, thank you for the five dollars as well. Hey, wait, hold on now. Should I make a big screen? He's about to dolphin dive. What do I do? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Make a big screen. <laughs> dude. Hello. Chris, are you okay, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that dude. Yo, what's up, Giovanni? Yo, Roy, thank you for the twenty-five dollars on okay. uh on 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 Cash App saying from Connor Wait, Park, I'm send this payment. To you. I appreciate Please you. Yo, w, so, w Roy. Here's here's my deal. I don't really like either one of them to be honest. I feel like uh, I'm actually starting to lean more towards RFK. But Wait, what state do you vote in? Tennessee. Okay. But here's the deal for me. Is, um, wait, but why RFK, bro? I know we talk. Uh, it's just he's younger. Well, he's a little bit younger than them. He's more. <laughs> Barely. Is it I know, 70s? but he's, he's a little bit younger and he's more in shape. Like I've been watching videos of him oh, come of on. like oh, just working on. out and stuff like that. Like he's his voice kind of gives me an off vibe, but that that's besides the point. Vile Sisson just put in the comment section. Did I get kicked, bro? Please, <laughs> you just you just you just type that in the comment section. I can't believe it. Y'all like talk about kind of like all the things that Trump says. 
and like how like i don't know if y'all think like trump's a racist i know i see that a lot like trump says racist stuff or whatever but yeah what, yeah what he you, never apologizes what do y'all think when biden said that if you don't vote for me you're not black like well, uh, all right. Uh, so first and foremost, we don't think that's a good comment. Second of all, uh, what he was saying, it's a, it's a comment he was making on The Breakfast Club hosted by Charlemagne the God. And on that show, it's a black owned show, black hosted show. And on that show, they say, you know, if you don't use this phone, you're not black. If you don't wear this bracelet, you're not black. So Joe Biden was using that line to try to make a political. Now, did it come off in the way that he was intending? No, it obviously is not a good comment. I don't think anybody's like, yeah, that's great. He should have said that. We all think he shouldn't have said that, but he wasn't saying it with racist intent. Okay. What about the time he said that poor kids are just as gifted and just as talented as white kids? Finish the quote. Finish the quote. I don't remember that, the rest. Like, well, exactly, because everybody cuts off the quote. He goes on to say, like, that's not it. They just cut it in half. He goes on to say, this kid or that kid or that kid. It wasn't just like he just said it there. Uh, it, it, it was a, a long uh, quote that people didn't re- like to. Real quick. What, what's quote. the rest of the words? Second of all, said? wait, doesn't Joe it. Biden apologize in all these circumstances? And now yeah. name one time that Trump has ever apologized for something bad that he said. Nope. Okay. Yeah, like I don't. I just want to say, like, I'll, like the last, like when Biden was at the State of the Union, his address was really good. But he uh, referred to uh, an undocumented immigrant as an illegal. That's what he is. He said an illegal, and he was asked by the press because, like, that's not really like a, a term that a lot of people find appropriate. So he's asked by the press, like, "Do you regret saying that?" And he looked and he was like, "Yes, I do regret saying that. Like, I should not have used the term illegal." And he walked away. And he was like, and Republicans sorry. got fucking so, like, mad at him. Yeah. So no it's reason. like, so it's like again, like he can, like, I, and I agree, he shouldn't have used the term. But it's like we we can anyways uh real quick sean thank you so much for ten dollars on cash app for the band-aids i might need them and roy twenty five dollars on cash app w is in the chat for you never follow roy as well thank you so D- much for the twenty five dollars D- for the dnc payment thank you I, so much I, I appreciate it roy i appreciate you so much roy w in the chat last one kimberly on venmo twenty five dollars thank you so much it goes such a long way you did back. nothing wrong hashtag justice for chris thank you for everything you do to educate us kimberly i really really appreciate you my dms are always open i'd like to follow all of you guys i'm actually gonna call it here i'm gonna hop off um coward <clears throat> wait, that's right <laughs> that's right i have a trip i have a trip yo connor thanks for the class i really appreciate everyone's support uh, you do not have a trip world. actually i had 300k i had 300k recently which is a lot to do with a lot of you guys so i can't i can't tell you enough how much i appreciate it make sure you're registered to vote by 2024 and i have somewhere to be tomorrow <laughs> isn't that right harry he's like he said i got so we, we, he's no, like no, he's we like, actually don't we literally don't we maybe literally we do don't. Go- we can't tell people i love you guys i'll see you later thank you guys so much my dms are open i'll be live tomorrow as well um okay bye chris Chris. uh yo philip thank you for the two dollars i was gonna say uh you know i kind of look at politics with an open mind i like to see both sides because i don't know how y'all feel about like religion and stuff like that but i just went on a mission trip to el salvador like three weeks ago and their state of their government is just kind of like a little torn up right now like the dude removed the part of the constitution that says he can only serve two terms like yeah our president. It's so good. it's so wait do you think that like a president staying in power improperly is wrong oh yeah 100 percent. okay so why would you even consider donald trump i mean he tried to stay in power in 2020 when he lost the election okay so, so. i agree with the what you're saying that if it really was i haven't done too much research on it but what i what i understood was that or what i thought was happening that he was just wanting it investigated i could have been wrong i didn't know but what my no, he wasn't asking just me, for it, he wasn't asking just for it to be investigated he was like actively trying to overturn it like he sent false electors to states uh trying to pose as trump electors to uh overturn certain results like in arizona they did it in georgia they did it in new mexico they did it trying to like ignore the will of the people he also tried to pressure his vice president to ignore and decline to certify the votes of the states that biden won so that trump would win um he called up legislators and like pressured them in individual states saying like hey i need you to find me votes or i need you to call a special session and decertify biden's votes so i can get the votes like all this different stuff he left he's we're, we're, we're wrapping up here anyway Um, But yeah, so like he absolutely did try to overturn the election. So if you think that, you know, the guy doing in El Salvador trying to stay in power and properly and changing the rules so he could, then you definitely, definitely wouldn't be voting for Donald Trump, right? 
yeah, that's why I'm still kind of on the fence, which by the only thing for me about Biden is that like, I know it's probably like, this is why TikTok probably needs to be banned, but like just looking at like videos of the way the dude moves and interacts, I don't really know why it just cringes me out, but it's the same thing, same thing for Trump. His mannerisms are, it, it's just old people in general. You, um, you could just say it cringes you out, but it's at the end of the day, it's one or the other. Right. And there are so many more things I can give you that will cringe you out about Trump's behavior than Biden's. Yeah. Do you want me to mention time. some? Yeah. Trump said ahead. that he would date a 10 year old girl in 10 years. Trump said that something he had in common with his daughter was sex when she said real estate and golf. Trump said he would date his daughter if it wasn't his daughter. Trump was yes. okay and said okay with the fact that Howard Stern referred to his daughter as a piece of ass. He said okay. <sighs> Uh, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's a little mess up that, that he said is. that he, he a, said that he grabs women by the vagina he doesn't even have to ask i do i do remember so he doesn't ask that clip coming out back in 2016 whenever he got elected and he never really addressed that clip whenever it like yep, i never exactly. saw him even say anything about it which i also thought was pretty weird like even like that was one of their biggest pieces on him during the 2016 election and all of those things he was held liable it. for sexual abuse he said that he wouldn't have sexually abused eugene carroll because she's quote unquote not his type then in a deposition mistook eugene carroll the person who's proven to have sexually abused with his ex-wife so either she's either his ex-wife is not his type and he still got with her or it is the case that she is his type and he was lying to you right in front of your face yeah that's crazy and think about how disgusting of a statement that is anyway that you wouldn't have sexually abused someone because they're quote unquote not your type. That That's is crazy, disgusting. dude. Doesn't that That's imply crazy, that you bro. would sexually abuse someone if they were your type? Yeah, right. Exactly. Like, what are, what? You, what are you saying there? I had no clue he said that. That's absolutely disgusting. Yeah, it's he's not a good but, dude. Like, in order, and we should like, I think as Americans collectively work to keep him out of the Oval Office because of his behavior. And you may not love doing it. You may not like Joe Biden. You may not agree with like the majority of his policy, but you know, at least he's like a good, decent guy who obviously cares about the country. He's dedicated his life to public service. And, you know, we can do, even if you disagree with Biden, you know, we can do four more years of that policy as opposed to like four more years of just like a predator who doesn't care about democracy at all. Yeah. 34 felonies is what I am. Okay. Well, let me ask this too. While, while yeah. I'm here. Do y'all agree? Cause I know Biden served 36 years in Congress. Do you agree that people should be able to serve that long in Congress? Uh, I, I believe like, I'm, wants. I'm like, I'm like sort of like indifferent to be honest. Like, I think that there are like some amazing legislators who, you know, like I have no problem with them serving longer, but then like on the other side, I'm like, I don't think Mitch McConnell should have been there that long. So like, I'm somewhat indifferent. Yeah. Like, like what Harry's point there makes sense to me. Like, yeah, like we could have specific people that would be there long term that would be good and could do very much good overall. But I think that having a system with no term limits as it relates to this does actually produce more harm than it does good. That's what I would probably come from. Yeah, that's fair. That's okay. fair. Okay. And one, I'll, I'll let y'all go one more thing. Do y'all really think that Biden knew nothing about what Hunter Biden was doing? over the past couple yeah. of years, you know? Yeah, 100%. You've yeah, there's just, done. like, there's literally no evidence, I mean, of Joe Biden being involved in any of it or having any knowledge of, like, what, you know, the Republicans are alleging. Like, Joe Biden knew his son, for example, like, was abusing substances, and he ought, there's, like, a, a leaked audio of a voicemail between Hunter and Joe where that Joe Biden left Hunter. And he's like, man, I just really want to get you some help and make sure you're okay. Like, if you need anything, please reach out to me. Like, he knew stuff about that, but not, like... yeah. Not anything that nefarious that Republicans insinuate, or there's at least just no evidence of it as of now. Well, I did see the clip that they were asking Biden, would you pardon him, pardon the, sorry, misspoke, pardon, would yeah. you pardon him if this happened? And he said no. So yeah, he, if he, he, said he, won't if he actually does fall through that, no, that I will probably gain back some of the respect that I probably yeah, I mean, should give the man. But he could he could pardon Hunter right now. I mean, he could pardon Hunter before the trial. He could pardon Hunter after the trial, and he has chosen thus far not to. So yeah, well, that's pretty crazy. Well, uh, yeah, uh, I appreciate y'all. Uh, All right, man. Teaching me some things. Yeah, no problem, Giovanni. Thanks for the conversation, man. You have a good night, okay?
You too, man. Thanks, bud. All right, Parker, I'm going to wrap up the live here. All right, for uh, sure, bro. It was good. Good coming on tonight. Hopefully everyone had a good night as well. Follow me. Follow Harry if you want to support us as always. Venmo Cash App's in the bio, everyone. But appreciate everyone coming up. Have a fantastic night, everyone. Peace out, Harry. Thanks, Parker. Have a good night, appreciate bro. Appreciate you, man. Likewise. Thank you, Parker, for coming up. Thank you for Chris for coming up. So I appreciate everybody coming to the live tonight. Um, yeah, so thank you, guys. Uh, it, it was a fun one. It was a fun one. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anybody on Venmo and Cash App. No, we're not. Fantastic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody in between. Thank you so much for joining the live this evening. I always appreciate you being here. Always appreciate you tuning in and watching. So uh, make sure to, uh, you know, I, I post on every single social media platform. The link is in my bio to all of those platforms, the Twitter, the, 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 the YouTube, the Instagram, the TikTok, of course, which we are on right now. Um, so definitely follow here and then subscribe on YouTube. I just posted a brand new video today. I also tweet a lot during the day and I post on Instagram and all that stuff. So um, yeah, definitely check all of that out. And it is a, it's a Wednesday tomorrow. So I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you enjoy your Wednesday. Um, and it's the middle of the week. Power through. If you're working, if you're still in school, take it easy, relax, and uh, do your thing. But if you are list, if you're interested in more political debates this evening, do me a favor and go raid my friend Isaiah R. Martin. A I -S, I S A I A H Martin is spelled M A R T I N. So as you know, Isaiah and Martin are always spelled. So definitely go raid Isaiah. He's doing political debates right now. Tell him I sent you. Say Harry Raid, Harry Raid. Tell Isaiah I sent you. And he's doing more political debates this evening. So if you want more than what you just got here, I would highly recommend checking out Isaiah Martin. Again, Isaiah Martin, his profile picture is him in front of an American flag. So definitely go give him a watch and watch the debates and all that good stuff. So yeah, happy Juneteenth, everybody as well. Happy Juneteenth. Uh, a federal holiday because of President Biden. So good stuff. Uh, what's his username? It's Isaiah R. Martin, or you can just look up Isaiah Martin. It'll come up. So definitely check him out. Go rate him. Go say hi and go tell him that we appreciate him. Um, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Uh, and we'll talk soon. Yeah? All right, ladies and gents. Have a great day tomorrow, and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye, everybody.